Good morning, John. Good morning, Peach. Alright. And we have a game on our hands. That's all we wanted to start off this series, to start off the LCQ, especially with Sentinels and the Guard. And yeah, Wait, very big shot on Dapper to want. start. One initiator down. And this is this is big. One of one of the win conditions we came into this tournament with was that Guard converts their 5v4s. Yeah. They're the second best team right now in LCQ at being able to achieve this, but the conversion rate is not as good. Yeah, no, no, nice it's happening now. It's already... So you see that that's coming out here for Sentinels as well, using a little game. bit of that utility to try to retake towards the A site. Now with a zero point. Recon in the back, we know one playing. One is playing towards Bricks. Another flash available for Zelsis, goes for that underhand. Comes back through. Only oh, one is going to be trended, thankfully he's <laughs> fully blinded. But that Zelsis still on his own. Connects onto another kill, onto Net, but we're swinging through as he's reloading. And that's a perfect pistol round coming in here for the guard. Big two. Pistol rounds one apiece right now between these two teams as Sentinels did pick up their first one. So the guard answer back. They'll get a bonus. They should be able to tie it up here. Let's see if Sentinels get anything funky for a defensive strategy. As it looks Morning like mid is. will be how guard kind of spreads this one out just a little bit. Spikes down to start this round off. So they're actually maybe considering Sentinels will get a push onto this round here. Extremities are covered. You can see on the left side, Nets getting ready to focus on window and a push. Here. Mid's covered and so are halls. Zen, thank you for sharing the stream. What I'm really liking so far as we have this eco from Sentinels is just to actually shine a little bit of light onto like these players that we think and we mm -hmm. talk about having less experience from the guard. We already saw in that preview of this of this matchup where you know Fallon's talking about oh I'm playing against one of my almost <laughs> idols here in the yeah. attack FPS scene yeah. being Shroud. Net is also very young coming into the scene, and when we also criticize Net on his chamber plays, m mainly saying yeah he's better on Killjoy, play your comfort picks. I like that he's still pushing there, yeah. forward by himself on the defense, but not please letting like, the, come. the name and the numbers but and the viewers affect his play style to be like, I'm going to confidently push down, get the information for my team, and on top of that, getting these kills. Yeah, you got to know you're better than everybody else in the server. It's just Agreed. a feeling you have to exude. So a little bit of a fake arrow towards A. They don't get a ping, but they know somebody's close enough to shoot it. So I, that would kind of tell, especially where the shot was from, kind of tells the deepness of Sentinel's defense at this time. The round getting thrown out once again. We're going to have a B hit, and it's one for one. That's a quick left. kill, but that's a stack coming in for Sentinel's on the A site. So I don't think that Tens expected the flood coming in from the guard into this B site. Good for that kill. And now it's trying to figure out if they could catch the guard off positions. And that's two players moving out towards the stage, morning, towards that tunnel. And there's one watching the late, late flank being tracked. If Chambers Did we can. just... I feel like they're, the first round and the second round have been the same. Like, yeah. the guard mirrored what Sentinels did. They crouch and crouch and scaled onto A. Now we have a late round run into B without any coverage because the wall's at A. And it's just a firefight because you know you have the right, weapon upper hand. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Little uh, right, we can do you. anything you can do situation here to start off our first few rounds. And that's going to be some nice damage. Not, not losing too much with just a headhunter there. And Valen picks up a few with Trent as well. Close in, do the damage, do as much as you can. Can you get a third into the round? Not going to work out. And just like that, we're tied like, on a 7-7 seven seven scoreline. And we kind of invested a little bit no, into the guard, right? They had Anybody three Bulldogs going to that previous much. round and mm -hmm. kept those Bulldogs alive into this round here. So it could still be a heavy fire round with... Uh, it looked like side player was going to go for another Bulldog trying to keep the Econ yeah. <laughs> at some point even. Uh, but he decides to go for the Vandal instead. On the other end, though, big test for Sentinels as they have to play the defense on a triple initiator here um, and see if this is going to work out in their favor. So instant walls being put up right away. So this allows you to feel out the map. You've already put something on the plate of Sentinels on defense, so guard can decide to play around that. It does seem like Trent feels comfortable in halls. It's the second time we've seen him extremity there as they start to work mid. So now guard, I, this did not happen for Sentinels. I don't think we ever saw Sentinels work mid once. So guard here trying to pressure the kill. 
Yeah, if anything, it was only a late lurk, but here comes that split in. A couple of flashes coming out on defense, but it's Zillaby Shroud trying to hold his ground now, gets pinged out. But he does get the wall bang out to Jonah. Being a headshot on this side player before he gets traded out. A two versus two. Zeus is battling at 35 HP at the staircase of the A site. Spike is now moving in, looking for a plan, and it will be successful now, courtesy of Valen. While Net is rotating all the way back towards Cave, the Spike planet for both of these players as we're retreating back towards the Cave with the Toxic Screen about to come down. Oh no! Peeking! Peeking! No, I didn't like that. I did not like that at all. Out, caught in position, out of position rather, as maybe it was a miscommunication. Valen should have called it out potentially here that the wall was coming down and Net got caught with his pants oh, down. Thankfully, Valen could play the pulse line lineup. ADS onto tens, a two versus one, but it's still going to be Zelsis that answers back. That 13 HP remaining will yeah. get the defuse, and that's Sentinels, but an expensive round for them to win. Oh, I think just at the last moment, mate, I, I thought they were timing the gas well. Maybe didn't call it. It was going down. That caught out, but then stayed out. Kind of thought he might. Wait, well, he's like, all right, you missed. I missed. Let's keep fighting. Sometimes you make that decision, and it did not pay off. Yeah. Uh, honestly, that looked like the guards round with Sentinels having to come in. A wall up as well that they pass through for a bit of damage, and the firefight just continued. So the mid play overall actually stopped there. And then we see now, uh, the reason I mentioned that is the difference in how we're seeing these teams already play the map. We see that guard wants to work mid a bit. It may still happen, and we'll see if Sentinels react to that mid pressure already looking for two towards elbow for Sentinels. No D, cons low for Sentinels. So we tried to go for some ex something explosive on the mid. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do have the defenders retreating back for a bit. Controlling more towards Elbow to play close range here with the Spectres that we currently have, a Bulldog, a Guardian. Mind you, again, this is a round that Sentinels won previously. Their economy is fully broken versus what the Guard has to offer this round. Hence Guardian long range down that B-Hall. He's ready for someone to peek. Quick haunt Welcome over the top. So they've cleared everything left extremity. They can play defense on A now. Sentinels has done a pretty great job, mm -hmm. but they Vipers pit A. Yeah, mm -hmm. see how they play off it. This is where Tens is moving forward. They hurt him, but he still ADS is down. Body shots onto net. Dapper looking for info with the Prowler towards mid, and they still hear the footsteps. Tens trying oh, to tens. retreat if he can, and could still pull up the headhunter if anything. The first swing out, but it's still going to be Trent that wins that first duel against the defender on the B side. Slightly open for now. Recon Dark to try to answer back. Also, the Null Command coming out here on the defense from Zelsis, but Trent still drops Shazam. Now in the back of the site, Zelsis with the Vandal. Underhand throw, looking to peek back towards the ladder. And he does spot a few. Now he does have support from Shroud coming out from McDonald's while Dapper's moving in on tunnels. And they are closing in on the guard, leaving Sia player, that guardian, by himself on the yeah, attack. Later is after, it's just gonna slow this. down for a bit. 16 seconds left on the clock. Nice flick there onto Dapper. Let to go for a pre fire shot into the corner, but a nice high low for Sentinels just to stop the bleeding. And that's Sentinels with two rounds in a row. Sentinels making a decisive decision to push on a part like a scattered by by both teams thing. which means it's a it's a round where if you go to the throw of your opponent and you're able to take them out like sentinels did Fun. it becomes so Thank hard economy wise nice. what a push a down support, towards b and you, you called so it the fake oh, ran right so into the rotation of Sentinels. Thank you, thank you. Yep. Guard was not expecting that to happen this early in the game from Sentinels' defensive side. As we saw, they're down to Marshals and Sheriffs now, and Sentinels pull away by two. Tried to go for something quick here to start things off on the defense. Underhand throw. We also have the Duel of Fuss looking back towards the AMA. Tap on the floor the battle here, and it's a connection. On to Trent, you but that leaves play, Zelsis on his own, decides to fall back, Gabby playing the numbers through her advantage. So. We like that. Valen has lurked his way through the A-Hall, a cap, okay. should I say that caught Zelsis off guard. So that's that's a great way to get the kill, activate the bleed storm, and make it a 4 versus 4 while we still have the Toxic Screen up and available for the attack of the card. Wow. That's too activated in this round. Really you talk about the orb really touch really with the shop. That was Nets, Tour de Force up. Now they have two priority ultimates in that blade Should storm tour. Back. I, th I still think Definitely it's just could a look and play this a lot slower. A little more pressure on net here. You can see Saya ready to answer on the but anchor of these plays. I want it's the just a one, win, two, actually. three across the map for Sentinel's defense here. They're playing for the retake. They know they're against big alts. There's no reason to try to play the one v one right now. Yeah. But Trend being down, it's only going to be the zero point to try to clear it for a bit. They choose to look back towards the ladder, so that allows Dapper to swing out. And unfortunately, doesn't work out in their favor with that flash. 
Ooh, that that is going to be the card. Making it a four versus three. Still at least looking to get a plant down for the economy Five into the planted. next round. Net, though, answers back onto Shazam. It's Ooh. a three versus three somehow. As Dapper is still stuck in the back of the site. Looking to get pushed in. Looking to get the wall bang shots. And Dapper is looking for that swing. It's a close range battle against Valen, who's just around the Ooh. corner. And as he goes for that swing, it's two players looking in that area. Forcing out at least a retake from the Nightfall. No, as nice. Net still stays alive for a bit, but only for a bit. Dapper answers back, and he was the solo anchor into the site and also stays alive this whole time. Yeah, that was sure pretty did. good. Oh my, yeah, exactly. Like I said, they, they wanted to play the retake, and that takes so much discipline. Like, Dapper yeah. played that ridiculously well. It's so easy to say, oh, I'm getting peaked, I'm getting pressure, but he found a way to stay him. safe, knowing when to play the kill. And like you said, long enough to secure a nightfall in this situation, which is ridiculous. He was the only one that could really allow those ultimates to be broken Ooh. through the site. If he got those two frags, like, ah, literally, Moon's aligning to there, like guard it's trying it's their best, but could not make the round happen with Tour de Force and Bladestorm. And that's a round now pulling away again for Sentinels, and they don't have to worry about those ultimates for quite a while. Really, yes. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the new players. That's why I don't know. I don't know. Ready to come back if necessary, but right out the gate. The three players pushing up towards the mid doors for the I know Shroud, but not as a power player. I don't watch his streams, but I do like. Where they can play the post plant lineups. Clips, you can already see Trent moving all the way back. Valen still has his two snake bites. And as he actually brings Kasi back up that pool, allows the wall to come back CS up. And now they retreat That's back into I'm the sure A-Cave. Like this him. is such a strong position. I mean, you still have net towards mid. You have an alarm bot looking back towards that flank. This is just going to be looking to be one off simple utility. Ew, line up, Lord. From Sentinels. I wonder what his countdown is. He might be able to actually get this to a fast beep. They're going to have to force Nowhere defuse it. The ultimates, they're trying to flick across. Velen takes down Zelsis. Great organization in the ultimates here. Sentinels yep. knows they can't go for it or forced to back off. So still, even after losing pivotal ultimates on the side of guard, they're still finding ways here to make sure they can get themselves around. That was big to be able to knock down Sentinels on that round. Okay, I like how I know. Yeah. I like how... I've been looking pretty good here on, on the oh, way that they're taking lang, up oh, here no. towards the A oh, site to, to no. play the Pulse Plant because a lot of these times Velen gets a plant and still mm -hmm. is alive too uh, on the Pulse Plant. There's been some situations, of course, where losing his player is back on the Pulse Plant in the front of the cave where he has to try to clutch uh, it. To but now. overall, the initial strategy of the guard <laughs> trying to get into A for the plant uh, seems to be seamless. Actually, uh, because you still right. have, like, what, three, four players taking it to site on know. that plant? I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to watch the VCT, but... Back towards I'm going to watch the master. When the master is like that. Like, the regional eliminations, I'm going to watch. So they've set up this wall the majority of the time. You can see it being the gas or being popped back and forth as Null Command comes out. And then they quick were, sight take here, and they feel they like they should scale on the back site. Then, like yeah. round one here, but with ultimates, makes okay, it a little so easier unless Dapper together. does that. They have a tag coming out onto Shroud in the back of Yellow Algo coming out from Shazam. Shock Dart's trying to come through. And that's going to be a little bit of a combo. Shock Dart. He's at a 2 HP, and finally, Kill confirmed by Shazam, but alert coming back towards it from Trent. And he can come up huge right now. It's a five versus two. We are watching that flank, but it's Net and Trent. Two youngsters right now in the roster making it work, at least for now. Trent on his lonesome. And it does not connect there, unfortunately, on that duel. But we actually did have a crossfire set up no matter what. He was fighting against yeah. Shazam. He had Zelsus on the other end and one going. Under the fuse, and that's at 11. Triple initiator retakes are gross. Like, they are going so quick. And I, I talked about it a bit before. We saw that it was Zelsis and Dapper playing over towards B, and they've switched it up. We can actually see Shroud headed that, that way now with the way they play it, but just imagine if they go A, you have, even if you lose one of your initiators, you have two to still retake. Like, your retake is immensely powerful. And then if they go B, I'm out from it. Joji now on its second week. I still have to play with the song. Hi, Ninia. Good morning. How are you? Happy Friday, guys. By the way, happy Friday. Let's go. We go. We survived the week. Good way, man. Up up. Oh, sorry. You can drop your ID. You can drop your ID and so this way. And then after, after my stream. Okay. 
Maybe if we all turn our monitors off while we're getting flashed. See the Yun Tin Yun Pog is a good nut. Do you guys know who he is? And then we saw Shazam coming through with the the sonar bolts. We saw double kills through the walls at B. We've seen them kills through smoke. So it's almost impossible to get away. And on that last round, the spike went down during the plant, which gave Sentinels even more time to swarm the site. And we saw Guard kind of scrambling. So they yeah. seem to be just a step ahead here on the rounds. And Guard, Happy when they Friday, do win, Fly are taking gaming. a lot of damage in those fights. Happy round 20 here, Vans. Really important here. We actually had a buy coming out from Balin onto Trent, or sorry, for Saya players. So you now know and see here. that the economy is very low for the guard. No, it was from the yeah. guard, round I think. For them to win, and also banking on the fact that they need Balin to get the plant so we could pull out the poison orb, or should I say the viper's pit. That said, they were able to do that on the splits towards the A site. Oh, this round, looking to focus a lot of that players on mid control, even She's abandoning cave. Guard have had good success through through this doorway. So you can see him touching it again, saying, all right, let's get the rotation now. No bite, though. Sentinels staying very controlled on their angles. Yeah, Just awesome. a little yeah. bit of a lean now from the defense's corner. Yeah. Dapper's going to have to come up huge oh my God. as the pillar of the beast site. Oh. Dissipates. Could have lined up too, but that's an easy trade back. Viper Spit is Spike available, down, but it's B. stopped by Shazam just by the arches in the back of the B Spike's site. Cute. Spike is also down, but Shazam is mm. by himself, actually. We can do it so far. That's one kill. Traded out by Zaya player on a two versus two. Just now there's it. no information from the guard where the last two players are, except maybe with that zero point that just came out. Left. The rotation's coming back towards mid. A nice little two-pronged attack here coming in from the side of the guard. We saw kind of what the cloud burst over a, a gas wall provides you. It <laughs> kind of bit him in the butt for a oh, second. Actually. That wall's over towards A, but this 2v2 is tight. Si Sentinels right? look to put themselves on the ground. Not nice gonna kills happen. by Jonah P. One of those moments where you know there was that miscom that came out from one end before with Valence Wall coming down. This yeah. time it's actually <laughs> Sentinels. The wall comes down. Zelsa said his back turned towards the back, and two easy kills for Jonah P. With an aggressive push up, I, I like that, and the guard stays alive so far in this game. Look this way. Look this way. With this way. Yeah. <laughs> Just too many, too many angles. Too many angles. Too many. Get no the idea. protractor. Uh, <laughs> Dapper, Zelsis, Zam, all ready to fire out ultimates here to make sure this round doesn't go in favor of the guard. Let's see how many they use. Valen, are they going to try to crash onto a site and get this Viper's Pit down? Again, these rounds where the spike is down, okay, it gets picked up. Usually we see the guard play very slow if that spike is down, but they grab it right away to hold elbow. A little bit of a crossfire here to help each other out. The double push in halls like this. Yeah. Uh, Sentinels are trying to put things in, in place. They haven't gotten any pushes, though, so the guard have not been read in this strategy. They could that's still right. crash onto the site and slam that Viper's Pit down. That, that's exactly it. You want to use that toxic screen maybe as a conditioning, as a fake, because you have a Viper's yep. Pit that's available. Always. So you could still use uh, a maybe lot I should of start watching from the initiators from the recon. There's probably the oh. reset coming back from Trent. This start. kill also is mm. going to give the tell I'll that the hits towards that B site. But it allows you to get in with utility and get the plant down. But Dapper is <gasps> looking, was looking to get ready to go for a yeah. night goal, but Good decides luck. to save it into the later Lola. rounds because they are also on a lower buy. So this also allows ah. the guard to get easier, uh, to get an easier Sight inside B, uh, uh, with the exception now of a flank coming in from Zelsis with that vandal from Punta. We're gonna hold it. I like it. Being yeah. efficient with the ultimates on this round. Yeah, Ten's coming in with the headhunter to try and get a little bit more. So Guard actually have found quite a bit of success here going towards middle. As you said before, the wall towards A. <laughs> We're gonna hold on that. Yeah, let's let's hold for a bit. <laughs> we got Wait, the highlight blue. reels coming out from tens. Zelsis actually makes it a little bit more Punjabu? expensive for the guard no, this round, but he's actually potentially no, going for this. Off the kill, trying to make it expensive uh, for a I bit. Oh, no, no, no he time. will be able to fly into the next round. Trent Drop takes him down, but yeah, that, that was actually a really good how to be good in Half by after FPS all here for Sentinels with the headhunter right. shots coming out from tens. It's like I said before, when guard do win, man, they take a lot of damage in the fights. It, that... <laughs> It makes it so yeah, tough actually, to string these rounds together. You're under so much pressure. You don't have as much confidence to push. The, the dangerous er... plays you make have much more of a negative yeah. result if you do go <laughs> down, right? You can't just buy next round. It's <laughs> not that <laughs> kind of game for guard right now. So Sorry. the ultimates are about to just clash here so as we get the it. end of our first map. What boring. a game to start off. NALC, Cubic, Guard, and Sentinel. Play. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. He was, it's still going, too. First map, Breeze. We never thought this would be in the mix here, but Guard wants to avoid Haven. The other maps, just get him out. 
or it's Halls is going to be the play here. The tides have turned in terms of the economy for Sentinels. A crucial round for them mm, to win. If they gosh. win this round but lose a lot of players, they're still going to be in a full economy oh. at that point. But that's a great way to start things off. Shazam, ADSing, headshot onto net. We're trying to answer back from the holes, the underhand throw. Shazam tries to fight back, but he at least got control of the door. That forces out the null command, and Valen gets the entry off the shroud. Meanwhile, though, as the door opens, that's already going to be the ult down, but it's going to be a camera for the players on the guard trying to get this plant into A. Still, the Viper's Pit available. Null command. Coming out on the defense, so that's gonna delay things just for a bit. And there you go, the pick finally comes out. Trent still has the Owl Drone. Hunter's Fury to come back as well on the retake from Shazam. And it's Zelsa, Shazam, and Tens looking for the retake, but they have to retake with an off on top of that. So this is good positioning, at least for Valen inside the pit. Tens is not giving up his. Ball comes down. Oh. Any Viper's Pit. Oh, the Cold Stream trying to get that shot. Lurking around the Viper's Pit, leaving Trent on his own. Ooh, the swing out, and unfortunately, as Zelsa comes down towards that ramp. Z uh, Trent was looking at the wrong angle, and that's going to be the defuse coming out for Sentinels at map point. But really? Riv, we talked about how expensive this round could have been. Still, there's an opportunity for the that guard with the economy yeah. and that plant that it just got. Go ahead. I don't play FPS. I watch Bit my... of money, like you ah. said, coming back into their favor. Familiar, so Again, familiar. we see ah. the Sentinels I using see. this triple initiator comp. You basically <laughs> negate the space where Sentinel <laughs> or guard could be standing in that Viper's pit. Right, whether you have Shazams, whether you have a Seas, a Haunt, a Prowler, a I'm not even sure going if in I'm to allowed to stream this hand, game, but if it was close enough to that, like, they almost like knew where they were Krista going to find their fight. I think you weren't to the chef. Okay, but I need no permission to stream. Of their own the side of Sentinels. Really? Game point here as we come into round 23 for Sentinels. If mahuli ako, ay okay Looks like they'll hold off a regular 3-2 defense actually on the side. A bit of an extremity like, play same, coming same. in from sent or, uh, guard. In the beginning of this round, you had s so much juggle going on with what kind of buy we're going to have for Sentinels. And now yeah. you look at the overlay, they don't have that much utility to work with if you're looking at what's still available. Yeah, okay. True. It's going to be very <laughs> tough right now. Uh, I see a lot of streamers because they're streaming it. And, and then site. usually if, usually if you need in. permission. Zelsus could have their backs real quick. But guard make quick work of everything that's in A. Is Zelsus too late or is he just in time? Stream with, stream with now down, spike now planted. Zelsus looking towards the back end of the game. Tens looking for the high ground. But here's that flash to the door. That spots Tens, but Jonah B. Still manages to escape, but this still gives in good position on know, the pulse plant now for the guard. Only, okay. and even Sentinels, look at that. that. So a five page. or four versus three, <laughs> rather. Really they anymore. might play it a little bit more passively. They might try to save unless they get this kill, Wait and they do. So that opens up the mid doors. There's that knife hole that's going to ping two players out of the three remaining inside the site as sad. well. So you will commit for this. The okay. recon dart to come out, the toxic screen okay. as well. Molly in the front from the fragment of Zelsis. Oh, oh, oh. And we're straight to the wall for the timing oh, on that one. Trent oh. allowing. To get two kills okay. out of that, oh and that God. is going to be the guard holding the plant after oh, all. Yeah. We're one round away of seeing overtime to kick off the LCQ. Again, mid becomes this this opening, this place where true. guard can encroach well, it wasn't into Sentinel's defense, true. be a thorn well, in their side. What I heard. The initiators want to stop you at like a forward. What happened, Kiss and Natra was that he was when accused, and there was for hearing, but he did so many put young ex. And I think it was. Like for, um, I think I could only assume because we Shroud's would never we would never know there was no official statement. Smoke, but right? I'm but assuming it was to save to his career. In. But yeah. you know they're already in, and Zelsus needs a little more help there. So Guard have found a really it's great way impossible. to be in the middle of the I'm initiative to like to start piece, instead of allowing really, Sentinel we won't the time for position. And even the, then, like, there's not much Shroud could do when it, Net yeah, goes in know. and enters that <laughs> way with the Vandal running up mid. But, uh, yeah. When you already had the cross replacement like by one of the Sinatra. greats being Shroud in Probably. Attack FPS and the Attack, Attack FPS world when it comes down to yeah. Yeah. Uh, cross replacement. Uh, it was actually quite interesting scene, looking right? at that previous round because, yes, we were able to well, save an operator for several seconds on the last round for tens. But they didn't even decide to go for a double off setup. They actually went for a tens. Let's just keep that operator, go for a full buy. And this results now playing a dual default and a much lower in round 24, last round of regulation, less. where the guard has everything in their favor to force the overtime. Trent's been pretty spicy with that ultimate, at least a few tags and maybe even some frags for him. They didn't put the wall up. Grabe talaga yung impact ng mga issues. That's right. Did not put the wall up at A this round. 
So we'll have to see what happens where guard goes, where they decide to use it. If they still fake it late, the push tens wants first blood. Oh, oh my mm. God, Saya player with the pick. That is a huge first blood for the guard, and that opens up the B site as well. We have another player looking around, but you just heard that shot, and that was Dapper looking for that flank here on elbow. As the Poxy screen's about to come down, he's looking for the window flank. Null command coming Ooh. out here. Do lobby. This would be incredibly impressive. It would be impossible. But very doable if you actually have a huge uh, play. Oh, the wall comes up on the time. You have defense. And Dapper's position's now given away with two players playing under the window. You're going to have uh, to play hard, but it doesn't work out. He had utility in his hands, and we're looking closer oh, no, and closer for the overtime. Shroud with the marshal. Zels is down. And Shazam with the hold up, guard. but the uh, red comes out, out forcing out the Hunter's Fury to tag onto one. Out. The double <laughs> kill with the Hunter's Fury, leaving <laughs> only one player alive. That Zels is with that Spectre. Yeah. Spotted in the front of the B site, and we will be going into overtime. Yeah. A Saya player gets that last kill. Oh, oh, oh. Sentinels no, not from, not from beat Sentinel. the guard no, 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 as they stand. I, oh, oh my gosh. Announcement eh. Overtime for it this game suspended. already to start it in our best of three. We're, we, still have a send. we still have Icebox to go, but that doesn't but matter right now. Standing tall. Oh, the, the economy being low here for Sentinels completely Peters separate what we've been seeing them do away. every round. Plus, right? That, the reason I said that would be almost Sino impossible Sino is because like everyone then had to make 1v1 plays instead yeah. of the utility being for the team, right? Dapper wasn't with Zelsus. It was with Shroud. Shazam was by no himself. Idea. So the communication may have still been there from long Every range after utility, game, but it wasn't over the shoulder. Yeah, it wasn't no. anchor okay. fights. That was just Sentinels getting caught out because they were forced to do a low buy. That's the kind of game guard provided themselves getting into that last round. They worked hard for it. Sentinels, too, at 12. And now, like you said, first round of OT here. Doesn't look like too much of a commitment on either side as Sentinels keep a 2-1-2 two, two on defense. Or on, uh, sorry, guard on defense as we swap. Yeah. And uh, Sentinels going back to this kind of attack. But now we do have a lurker. Dapper is Correct. away from the team. Great observation on that one. Dapper's already looking back on the left side of the pillar to try to catch rotation as the rest are trying to actually flush that out of position. And look at that. He gets pinged by a drone. He's not switching his position. He's just staying and anchored up on the left side pyramid. The owl drone to support him on the top of bridge from Trent. And now this is a stalemate. You're going to have to wait for the, the next recycle of utility to allow Sentinels to go for a hit. And Sire player is about to walk down. This could be a big kill right there. now from Dapper. <laughs> well, you know what it is. Potentially. Ah! He it. He's watching it, but Dapper still wins it. Haunt to look up. No a push down from Valen. And he wins it on that four versus four. He Ayan. gets pinged out, but it's still the rest of Sentinels going for that explosive Ayan. hit now as you Ayan. have the toxic screen Ayan. coming up towards A. I, I wonder how much guard actually think this is a fake. Sentinels didn't do any of that in the first half when they were playing on their attack. And they are going to do a little bit of that, just scale into A when the wall's up. Take the fights, be behind each other, give somebody a family photo if they decide to peek. Oh, and they are, they, they are there to back each other up. 1-0 point spots, all four players. That is going to be the spike down going at least for the Sentinels as they lose Zelsus in the process. But the ray takes coming out from the guard. Everybody can look towards the front of the site here for Sentinels. And all of this time, we have the Toxic Rage still available for Valen. So now we go for that retake, and we all fall for the Sentinels. And somehow, the guard take the lead on the first map on their permaban being Breeze. Incredible teamwork oh, no. there. You see how tight knit both teams are moving right now. So pala wall, they no? know how each other are going to attack and play. Know where there's it's a planted. wide swing. There's more to follow. What Everybody's I do is each I... other right now. This game is requiring a lot of communication from both ganyan. teams there. No, we saw the walls actually go perpendicular no, there to divide what could be coming from the it's double door line. side. For guard, okay. all of them could focus right through the pyramids and Sentinels Noted. were ready. And waiting. I would say ready. They were waiting though. Uh, for that net, first one. Let's see what guard has later. now for attack. Sentinels onto the defense, setting up their own 2 1 2. And it looks like they will diversify how kind of those were set up. We saw a lot of the yeah. times Zelsis with the way, Dapper. Now, guys, if the you initiator haven't done so already, split. you tap the heart button down below. Prowler and a zero point on elbow. We're putting a lot of information or trying to gather information on uh, the mid front B from Sentinels and stacking players more towards the A site. But the guard are pulling a trick out of Sentinels' hat. Spike Staying towards up. spawn, playing it passively, waiting for their the next utility to come out to try to find information, maybe try to sell the false information that Sentinels yeah. could be getting uh, from their utility and, and look for the late hit.
birds just chirping. I'm just gonna break the silence. A quick prowler out, so they at least know where Dapper might be lurking and playing. And that's kind of Dapper style. So they know Dapper may actually just be on a bit of a sentry mission to figure out what's going on. Wall up, Owl Drone. This is a fake right now on the A side to hit towards B. But we hear the footsteps. Tens is on the top. They don't fear it on the top here for the guard, but no hits, no kills. Ten, or should I say net at one HP. Finally gets dropped. Now it's a four versus four. The knife actually pings him out, and we have an out. Uh, recall guard actually that pings out Saya player. But Valid is walking towards the front of the B site. It's a four versus three. Tens is trying to go for the hero play to at least narrow down the numbers on the retake. But we still have Zelsis. The flash in the back of the site. Saya player is also holding that angle. The oh, peek out. One, Zelsis one, wins that fight. And now here comes Trent on the oh, lurk. This is Back the guard, guard drone. The zero point coming out on defense as we have suppression coming in. Jonah falls, but Trent moves oh, forward. Well, the first happen. headshot the Shroud. The recon dart to come out too. And Valen is still holding towards that window. So we have to go for the quick kill. And oh, it works no. out for Shazam. Now Valen has to go for the jiggle uh, jiggle back in the front oh and Shazam saves it in now for the Sentinels so as like we will go end. into double overtime like, on Breeze. Like that, no. Oh my word. Okay, Tyson, if that got a little scary year. there for Sentinels fans. Oh, you saw Tyson <laughs> dive into a crowd of <laughs> attackers, but <laughs> that initiator composition just coming through in yeah. Sam, hello? His aim is crispy this game. When we are on him, he is clicking heads, and he actually had a read on where every flank was coming from like he was in the guard's head on that attack. That's what you need to keep the rounds going here. Sentinels do just that, and we're going to get an operator here as the buy comes out from that so they can get that gun onto these hard angles to hold here that will be focused over towards cave it looks like it's another split round ish from sentinels we did not yeah. see a lot of this again on their first half they're starting to uh, distribute the way they play this strategy to get guard messed up because all sentinels really did was either hit fast never play mid or go right down to 10 seconds now sire player is trying to do the same thing as pens did on the b site the Allen drone for the ping, but this is really one of those same things once again. But Zelsis gets the opener. We actually do clear that top Ooh. of flank, but Valen's in the back of the site, connects onto one, but cannot get the readjustment onto Shroud. We have a plank coming down. Ooh. That's mm. going to be a big audio cue. Yeah. Dapper staying on the top of mid. Like Zed is looking for from the top of Ness. And that's a great pick. But another late lure coming out from Elbow. Ten just gonna hear rotation from Jonah B. Connects onto that kill, and we know the second one's moving towards Tunnel. Shroud is playing the Pulse Plant. Oh no, they're all... Shroudy that's one of the things we like to see, yeah. I mean, Shroud, we, we talked about it before. One of those half. players that's coming in. As we do have the shots Wait, landing half. on a one versus one, and it is halfway. We're forcing out the ping. The wall bank oh, out from Shroud Lee. does get the kill, and who better than Shroud to win that round? On that one versus one against Net, putting Sentinels back at map point. The time, the ice cold. I mean, like, everybody's sitting there sweating, like, fire it, Molly! Oh my god, fire it! He's like, Psh, what do you mean? Not even close. Oh, it's years of experience in the end. <laughs> and I got this, boys. But that's one of the things that's and cool he here. We talked about Shroud being not, a, one of the latest additions, of course, with Zelsis into yeah. this roster. And yeah. we wanted to know if he actually knew the lineups, if he was going to be able to play Viper. Because even as a joke, he said, or even in his, in his interview, he said, there's know, potential man. where I won't play a Viper and maybe let Dapper play it. But he's throwing into this uh, role quite well. Ice cold. Ice cold lineups. Makes you think you got it. <laughs> nice clutch, nice play. Sentinels pull the lead back in their favor here. On their pick of Breeze. Elbow play going to come in now from the side of the guard. The spike is still down towards A cave. Yeah. Z, Z shop. So if they actually decide to go towards A, they can still do that. Wall hasn't been used. As per usual, they would fire it towards A pyramids. So they still have a chance to go either way. At least... The spike is on the back of Valen, right? So if Trent dies, oh, then, yeah, okay, we have a player pushed up towards Maybe A, but this cave. is all bad timing. Because we think we have position and info. Hence does get the first kill, at least onto Tunnel. But this could still be a rotate back towards the A site. Yes, you'll let them in. Maybe that's going to be the play here for Sinos because you just want Zelsis to play the Pulse Plant and just catch oh, the players Zelsus. off guard, especially after that Owl Drone. That's <laughs> one player down. Knife towards the front door. I actually missed it. He threw the knife onto the body of Trent. I love it. 
Well, I love he was it. making sure nobody else was to his left. Oh, oh my God! Rowdy comes out with a 3K, <laughs> the flawless to end the round. You got to be kidding me! Oh okay. my word! I like literally. I can't even take the amount Dang. of gigabytes going through my computer right now. I just uh, same here. Oh, I'm watching yeah. you flawless. Round. To that be able that to was find like... the last three. So he gets the first kill of the match and the last three of the match. Nicely that done. Was quick. Sentinels finding a win on their own pick, but it's a game. It's a series, and that was one of them. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, it's it's going to be a good one. Both teams seem to have a good read on each other, and it's it's basically coming down to situations then, just like that. The turn good, the first round, game, the keeping first a few game. more players alive in a first round so the, the economy game. builds. They're, each team is giving each other so many problems to have to adapt and think about within the games. I can't it's wait live. to get to Ascent, so let's shut up. Kind of is live. Yeah, I, w I was ready to go for a little bit of a podcast before because I the thought the guard were going to be able to make it in and at least go for the plant after yeah. that sells towards that front, but you got to stay on the edge of your seat when you got Shroud playing, and that's exactly <laughs> what we're going to do. As we take a break and when we come back, we have Ascent coming up. I wasn't even worried. You? No, you not the moment. No, 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 no. <gasps> I was not even worried. You're a sanctuary. I really want to buy a number. I don't want to buy a secret love in the chair, but I don't know. I, I'm not sure if it's the best value for my money. I'm damning like salsa just talking. I just buy Herman Miller instead of Secret Lab because Herman Miller is an actual ergonomic chair, and I think Secret Lab is just you know heavily branded, heavily branded na gaming chair. She. And then the last, nyana, last game, last round. Phase versus EG. That's EG. I wanna order food. Help me order food. In love. If you don't have to wait on me. Cause I've been aiming above. But an angel is me. It down so close because you never know just how I love you. Ang hina na net namin, buti na lang may exit lag ako. In exit lag ko pa tong Google Chrome ko para lang mag-load yung Twitch. Tapos, need ko din mag-exit lag sa Valo para hindi mataas yung ping. I'm not sure what's wrong with PLDT lately. So annoying. Wait, order mo na ko food. Oh, masarap. Do I Jollibee? It's very early in the morning for Jollibee. Pero yun lang kasi yung open din eh. Rick. There is... Wait. There's Jollibee. There's McDonald's. There's Chow King. Duncan. If you've been waiting for falling in love, babe, you don't have to wait for me. I've been aiming from heaven above, but an angel ain't what I need. Not anyone, you're the one more than fun, you're a sanctuary. Wait, Jollibee na lang talaga, wala na kong ibang mapili. Ang gusto niyo? Sino magpasali, sino magpa, magpasali order? I usually, ano, eh, wait lang, ano pinag-usapan nila? They have some comp changes, Tens was on the chamber, which we've been begging to see more of uh, for a long time, so the practice has come in, and they're able to grind out a, a win in OT or against the guard who are no slouch. Oh, yeah, I used to, I used to always order two-piece chicken or chicken joy. So Jollibee, but the thing is, the chicken joy is on Jollibee. It's very, it's chance based. Oh, there's a chance you get freshly cooked 
chicken joy. There's a chance you'll get like parang chicken joy na alam mong six hours na naka, naka, ano, nakatambay sa tray. You know what I mean? That's why ayoko, nang, ayoko mag-take ng risk. That's why lately I've been ordering burger steak. Because burger steak is always 100%, 100% okay. It's not great, but it at least it's 100 or parang guaranteed ka na okay yung ipadala sa'yo. Which I can try kasi ayoko talaga, ayoko talaga yung, for example, nag-note ako ng parts na prefer ko. Usually, yung preference ko talaga, if merong Thai part, Thai part, if wala, drumstick, if walang drumstick, wing part, if walang wing, breast, if walang breast, wag na lang. <laughs> but yeah. And I really hate it when they give me breast kasi impossible na wala yung, I mean not impossible but highly unlikely na wala yung ibang part. And they just take advantage because it's not for pickup or anything. It's walang walang magawa yung nag-order kasi it's delivered. Kailangan naman ipabalik natin sa kanila. And I hate it. That's why burger steak na tayo. Oh, ganda ng breakfast ko, no? Basura. One of the uh, agents you were just talking about, Kale, as well, ended up being pivotal for them as it was Zelsis who was in that position. A lot of eyes coming in. If you've been waiting, but then we were saying, keep your eyes on Zelsis because Zelsis was playing so well coming into the switch to the new team, and things have only just improved. I mean, you can see the numbers here. They speak for themselves as a Kale team. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, the gunplay working out for them, but specifically, how he was able to. My God, Friday, pa lang ayon. Oh God, final year rest day tomorrow. Hey, guys, happy Friday! And that is just a pleasure. Yeah, absolutely. As an individual, like you mentioned, he was fantastic. I think last week he was a fight for all the time. But on the other side, Frank has a lot of people. But Chelsea's really stole the show in this one, which was really special when you look at his team with Shroud, with Ken, with all these other amazing individuals. And we speak of Shroud as well. One of the things I like how he, you know, I like how she speaks. The Viper utility from both sides. Shroud rocking it on one side, Valen on the other. We saw uh, some interesting walls. I think early on it was a little clunky, but as the game progressed, it got better and better. And you had a few rounds you wanted to look at specifically. Yeah, honestly, it shows both styles of teams on their defensive halves in particular here. And I'm going to start out actually looking at how the guard played as I lose myself for just a second. So uh, primarily how the guard liked to play compared to Sentinels is to play contact on site and then fall off. And you can see this mm -hmm. exactly exactly in how they play the B site with their Viper. Notice, uh, interesting enough, there's no Viper wall at start of round. There's really nothing nothing of note here on the site. You just have Net playing with the chamber for that first contact into main. And as the round plays out, as all these full by rounds play out uh, for the guard, they use that Viper wall as retake. So they don't play these fully committal positions on site. You just have a chamber who can TP and play back site. That'll enable them to have two players in the back site for the retake, which is really solid with how they want to play. They can combine utility to try and punish out the team. And then that's where things get really interesting for them because how do you retake control of the B site? Well, it is this crazy Viper wall going into the back site here. And as you can sort of see it, what it does is it disables anyone from playing back site really at all because if they're going to swing into you, they have to cross through that right there. They're going to take the decay damage and you're going to have a great line of sight to actually try and hit them as they get back onto the site. So it enables you to get a ton of back site control to threaten mm. a, a KO flash through that wall as well. It really makes it hard for the Sentinels players to play as their viper wall times out they're getting up trying to run off the site even this mid control for them they're trying to make work out I'm ends learning. up getting punished as, as the guard can sort of grind through the rest of the round and as it goes down to the end guard are going to end up taking it that was the normal setup for the guard but it changed on their eco rounds where they got pretty clever with their walls and all these walls uh, we don't really need to watch the rounds play out it's all about setting up ko flashes through these look at that ko can flash out and clear so much if they hear anyone running onto site they're going to get flashed and shut down pretty easily again we saw a whole lot of different variety with those walls too uh here this wall down down at the bottom of your screen it allows your ko to push through b main to flash out towards cannon and really end up punishing the opposition off of clever uh flashes with your ko even even the wall right here as well enables again very similar play uh on that
you compare that to how Sentinels played, it was the same wall every time. No variety, yeah. really, in their setup whatsoever. And it's really cool because similar to the, the <laughs> guard <laughs> retake wall, it allows you to retake site, but also allows you to fight same on site. That, that you can that wall like we were talking about before. It also, <laughs> no variety. so deep in spawn, it lets uh. Shroudy run all the way over to that A site and drop down an orb, too. So it's all about putting down both pieces of Viper utility so you can fight through the sites and stop your opponents from actually playing the game. Retake for guard, fight on site for Sentinels, a clear distinction between the two teams' play style. And it was really great ideas that guard was showing, but I still give credit to Sentinels that they were able to adapt around that really, really well. Using that initiator utility, so often they were fighting through these funky walls with the fade cap, so with the KO yeah. flash, but there was some early moments where guard was getting the better of that. Sentinels yeah. adapted on the fly, and, and that's something, cup again, of that we were I need really waiting to for see this. out of them. They did well to adapt to the style that guard was showing us and, and, and we saw in the in the last two rounds actually the the team sort of falter so guard actually ended up playing a committal position on b site on defense with their viper ends up falling then they don't have the ability to use the mm. wall to retake whereas shroud playing you know sort of deep on site but still fighting on site taking fights gets a 3k to finish it out exactly what you wanted from him. What I loved about the guard was that they at least Keep looked me. rehearsed on Breeze. This is a map we had not seen them play too much of, Mimi, so it was good to see them look a little bit better on the no, map than maybe we would have no. anticipated, but I still uh, feel like the they dropped the ball right. in a couple situations that really yeah, no, would have put them up in an agree. advantageous position. They could have taken map one here in the series, but at the same point in time, now we move to Ascent. This is their map pick. Yeah, absolutely. I think Guard, we saw the kind of slow start out of them. Quite a few rounds where they had the advantage. It looked like they were going to be able to close out. Overswung a little bit. Overfight. They had a few of those overheat moments. I think it calmed down over the course of the series. I However, I think no heading into Ascent, music, no this is a lot more thing. comfortable but for them. Like you mentioned, Breeze the Perma Band. Do not like playing this <laughs> yeah. map whatsoever. They still put up a good fight against <laughs> Sen. And for Sen, we don't know what to expect uh, from them mm -hmm. on Ascent. Previously, it was a shaky map for them. As of late, obviously, we haven't gotten to see it with this new roster just yet. Well, Ender, here comes the agent select. We'll see if things switch agent up select, a little bit here for both teams, Chelsea honestly, using... because we, we kind of looked at the guard coming button. into this and said, hey, yeah. agent comps were a little bit stale. We looked at Sentinels and we said, we really want to see the chamber come out for 10s, which we're seeing again here, but thoughts okay. on the agent composition is a lot safer. Honestly, Sentinels just going to run triple initiator on every map, it seems like, too. Uh, Ascent is a map that we've seen a lot more teams oh, trying no, this triple one out ever since uh, EG and NA started playing uh, a bunch of that. Don't have Other teams have followed suit, whereas guard, they go back to almost basics, Trent has the first been playing time I'm the fade, um, but typically like this comp in stage triple one for them will have Trent on, uh, on the Sova. But mm -hmm. other than that, almost exactly the same with Saya player continuing to want to lock in that double, jet. Double Sentinels have changed coming into the stage. Uh, the guard have not. No, it doesn't look like it. And uh, Saya player, again, we talked about this. He did have some struggles on map number one of Breeze coming in towards this one. His success is even more pivotal with that attacking side at Starbolt. Yeah, but I, th I think are going to be dedicating a lot for him to find I think good if moments. You, on the other side, for Sentinels, the pressure is more for Shroud, or excuse me, think for, uh, for tens solid on that bombs. chamber. You can be a little needed. bit lurkier. You can be a little bit slower. The triple initiator allows you to get those great sight execs without needing a dedicated dot. Well, we're going to have to see what's going to happen here. It's a little bit disappointing to still see grandma. some stagnancy it's from the guard, but it's maybe it's just a matter of comfortability. Our casters are standing by. We'll be diving into a set. Rip Remington, Van Silly, it's all yours. Ready to go here for the second map now on Ascent. And <laughs> the okay, I had a conversation with MC before Riv uh, when okay. we had this game. I was like, ah, oh, I don't want you to tell me if the guys have been in a lab, if we're going deeper into the agent pool for the guard. There's some slight changes, but it, once again, it's those comfort picks. But what I like the most is can Net actually still prove that Killjoy is going to be viable despite this Molly now that could actually go through walls from the KO oh my or God. Elsa's just cancel everything. Of course. This camera angle, I thought that turret was on a wall I've never seen before. I was like, <laughs> okay, we're already starting <laughs> off with some new tech right now. But actually, we, we were just falling off the map for a second. Getting a ride up on the gondola to start the off guard on the set here. Map. Let's go. Looks like a B tiles to A. We do see the so Omen here for guard. Target. One ways play, will be played. Play. One ways will <laughs> slow down Sentinels. That's the objective. But you're right. Will Killjoy work? We'll have to keep an eye on the kill, uh, KO and Killjoy utility interaction. Mm. Uh, unkillable zero point goes towards mid here. And Shazam gets some pop shots from the middle of Cat here. Nice little combo of utility as well on, mm -hmm. on the attack to actually force Tens away with the rendezvous back onto Cat. So Mid was forfeited for a bit, but we haven't taken control of anything for the guard yet. Still holding towards the link, trying to see if Ten's going to re-push out while he has the TP on cooldown. But we're just going to try to play it slow, find that he didn't get much info, well, so the there you go. Ten's is back. Nothing's changed there for 
Here comes the first utility off the refreshments. The zero point yeah. clear out towards cat. Another dodge out. So a reposition again. They're kind of they're reading the, the reround of uh, utility as you were saying. Going towards door here. This could easily go back towards cat. The push already in from Valen. And that <laughs> in the structure of one. That do be me. And what a positioning move That's they it. have from Sentinels. Break the door, force a rotate out, Tense gave up, force guard, oh. and now we're pushing oh, it towards oh, the side, but it's Zapper! Two kills with the ghost what? on the back of the Jenny, lining up a third one with the wall bang, and that's Tense on the other end just to hold it back off the rotation. Ugly. Nets on his own, on the lurk on mid, and that's gonna be a prime gimme flawless from Sentinels. A few of the cleanest ghost shots we're gonna be seeing here throughout the tournament. Dapper has always been an amazing sight holder in the 1v1s the 2v1s he thrives in these positions here this second what is that second shot slowed down yeah. it still seems fast my man oh <laughs> and that one coming back through the jenny gets a clip and then the rest of it i almost i would be like tens you took my fourth that's basically what happened in, in the <laughs> uh, but yeah that working. is a statement round coming in from dapper you can't say much about it guard really tried to work the map just to get shut down coming through by tapper and that's the strength as well of playing that triple initiator for Sentinel. So we'll talk about that a little bit later. It's a grab quick push outside the A main. It's already spiked down off the grab well. That's going to be tough. Read. The read on the play. Close. Trout is on the Astra too. So that's the quick click practice owned in that, on that. And they even get their own one ways from Shroud here to make sure they can gain a little bit of positioning. Hey. Sam's just holding so, yeah, the L drone back from the garden and that spots at least Sion player on that marshal. So they pretty much have all that information up on A. Is that a lock. phantom? Well, that spike is still down, so a tough battle for the guard. That's all! So we'll take the time yeah, that to talk about it. Triple initiator from. It's, it has Initial. been shown here by EG during stage two. Retweaked and revamped as well right, by yeah. Optic into stage two, and now Sentinels is using it. And one of those moments of where you saw that second kill coming out from Dapper was just a nice little lineup to get the kill off a recon dart that came out uh, from Shazam as well into the A side. So there's just going to be a lot of utility that's going to bring out your opponents. And if everybody's so focused on trying to take you down left. on game duels, then you're going to be able to ping so many players on his retakes right. for Sentinels. I mean, if you think about how Valorant works and the way that it can be slow. If it's a slow game, information is king, right? Yeah. And if you have more information to gain over and over, we see them recycling the utility. It becomes much harder to do anything in the dark, if you will, to have your opponents thrown off because yeah. they're already pushed up. They have extremity cover or utility cover in a certain area. Let's see what happens. This still the same setup coming from the guard. I mean, tile coverage from KJ is a kind of a norm. Have a bit of a lurk. This mm. is one of the first times Net will be by himself. We'll see how much they can provide over there with four playing towards Cat and that uh, Gelato. Sentinel set up a 4-1 here to start with four towards B. Okay. A little bit of a TP on the top of the box is looking for some aggressive mid control with two riflers on the top. And that's tense. Crosshair placement broken, and Valen punishes him for that by being on top of those boxes. One of those little tricks that you actually see here that we actually haven't seen too much from Omen yeah. players on this map of Ascent. That was a nice start. Valen definitely finds a lot of comfort on Omen. Clutch situations, first bloods. He's <laughs> no stranger to any of those of the sort. Mm -hmm. A real big reason they were one of the number one teams there. Fragging IGLs are a rarity. Hmm. See the push towards B though. It has been held by Nat. BC Seems Mugunsen. like they want to get in. Nobody's really close to any all still in? so early in the game. But again, guard try to Ooh. play this time down and Jonah finds two. That's big news. Ooh. They take him. Tried to get something at least on the yeah. A side. My the other hand throw actually did catch Zelsus off guard, but there was support from Shroud. But what that does is that they're on a bonus, so losing a little bit of a specter to allow the rest of them to get into the B site. We'll take left. that any day here for the guard. Absolutely. Easy in, easy plant. Let's see if they can get back out of the site Things here. It will done. help. Getting swarmed by all this utility will not be fun ah! Sentinels, and they'll know exactly how to use it. Doesn't look like they have much it's more a, than that just from the crossfire. 
yeah. see how sentinels get in. Excuse me, lost a rifle in the process, not only a spectator here, because it's a gun oh, round for the guard, and Shazam's oh. looking for that retake for sentinels, oh, the wall no. bang onto Saya player as Net is hiding inside Papa, the dark be man, be man. The smoke, actually, and that allows him to get through the nebula on Wala. the timing. Oh. He's probably just spotted, but as he comes out, Dapro is waiting Ooh, for him. Okay. Then Trent stays on the boxes for new kills, looks for the third, but we continue with these trades. It's a one versus one. No. We talk about Velen on clutch, but it's not going to work out. Dapper gets the kill. And he's oh going to no. be able to get this defuse right here to make Those it are by to as well. The dink as well. Not even a gun diff, just a place of the man. crosshair. What a back and forth. Double and I said it come into the site, man, silly. Like, that's going to be watching. so I'm hard serious. to hold. Or All that information ready to be gained by Sentinels. And we saw the first kill was through a wall. Trent yeah. doing Trent things at B. Almost a deja vu from him in this situation. But it comes up on Dapper's side, and they're able to get the defuse oh, by Sentinels. They hold the bonus pala. true, it's and animation. they put guard back on a low buy. Now, this is some of the things that we see a lot from defender halves as well. If you come to, you get usually the smoker and the KO playing towards the A side. Exit with uh, BCG and Def do a great job, but they have an Omen instead of an Astra. But we're still using the Astra in full force here with Howard currently placing the stars into A main for Shroud. If it's going to be support with the grab well on top of that too for Zelsis. But here comes the execute towards the A site and that's Shroud only towards the A main. This is off of, of course a couple of pistols coming in though from the guard just trying to at least get a flat down. Find you. That was also the nightfall coming out from Dapper to get all of that information. Uh, for Sentinel so uh. it's going to make things a little bit hard for the guard to get some economy oh. in from a plant. <laughs> There's a few more frags okay. coming in for Sentinels. Oh my word. Guard try to just pull something okay, out of their I pocket think there. We'll and play comp a little bit early than the Sentinels with a pretty nice read. Like you said, <laughs> Dapper on the ultimate to make sure that there isn't really anything to mess with. Make the round not even close. 7 0 8. He's actually been having a great series so far. Fragging out pretty hard and holding his own in situations. We already, if we recall the the B round in Breeze yeah. where he held back, got two frags, which yeah, allowed yeah. the team to get Nightfall. Just he seems to be in that in that range where he's not ready to make a mistake today, and he's making the right decisions everywhere. It's really helping Sentinels out. Well, uh, Guard for yeah. the timeout, Vance. The, the the rounds that slipped away from him are, but what if? Right? What if that didn't dink through the wall on Dapper? It's eh, the bonus doesn't go. Another round doesn't fold over. So yeah. it, 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 it's not like you get to say that and come back. You have to figure out what to do now because Sentinels isn't going to make it any easier. A few ultimates coming online here for the guard. Trent probably could get a night fallout if they encroach on enough space and get in the face of Sentinels. But they're early timeouts twice now for guard here. Yeah. One of them was after their, their round win. But... It seems like they're having trouble getting through Sentinels. Well, that's it. Getting uh, trouble getting through Sentinels on A main on top of that. So I think <laughs> yeah. where they had some strength from the guard was actually forcing tens away from mid, forcing the TPs out, and getting that fake on mid to force tens off the rotation off tree. But when they do that and still lose the fights towards A main, the position from Zelsis and from Shroud are very, very hard to deal with. So I feel like maybe mm -hmm. a gelato late lurk or something like that could work things out. And, uh, <laughs> after actually this timeout, it's a paranoia to push through. And Sire Player dashes forward to be able to get that head shot Sent onto Zelsis. Yes. So a great way Ooh, to dude. actually adapt back into Hi, this Mark, aggressive A side Mark. that Happy Shroud Friday, and Zelsis Mark. have been doing towards that A main. Uh, so, uh, uh, great, uh, great, uh, uh, great time out after <laughs> all. But this is still going to be one of those stalemates where a little bit of utility was used to get control of that, no, very but not tactical, much into map, very, uh, map control it. gained, right. if I can put it that so way, uh, the guard. So we keep an eye now on the, the conversion. This 5v4, Saya player is able hey to get, and he stays hey alive this time. Because a lot of the time we saw that, you know, Saya player breaks that distance and nobody can trade with him on the frag. Yeah, Maybe yeah. this time... Young Astros? bonus round, Sorry. right? Uh, <laughs> four v four coming up. Uh, they will be able to get a little more positioning. At least the knowledge is there. But here comes the initiator utility. That was huge. Okay. Off the seas and okay. the fragment and a push from Trent coming in hard for the guard. This is what's after this great timeout, and that's going to be the plan on a four versus one. Plus. With the economy looking pretty strong Supposedly here for Sentinels, you could definitely go in to make it expensive here for the guard, and um, you could you could count on tens to maybe try to get one or two. Yeah, so the attempt justifiable here. I really Mari. It's nice to clean this up, helping out the 5v4 version statistics. Actually, G anytime. Eh. 
And that was a great pressure too, especially yep. in a round See, where Saya does where. get a frag. He is actually the next one to frag again. Right? Oh. He was the one to push out if he gets ten oh. one. He called it. Valen will stop Ganun that though, in his hell. tracks. Uh, so but yeah, Saya still jump. with what thirty no, HP no, no. was the first to peak. They keep Correct. in order what they're supposed to do with this composition, and they follow up accordingly. And we saw guard just pile in after Saya did finally go down. So yung really game. nicely done and keeping their strategy Friday, in Friday. line. Right, it's very easy to get deterred from it, but they're not letting Sentinels do that. Thing. Yeah, and that's what I was trying to get to too. As you see the rotation coming out from the guard is Sentinels playing it on the A site. If you lose control of one side, you can push yeah. forward in the rest. So pushing two players inside A main, you're leaving up tree, but the position that you gain from A main allows you to play the retake a little bit better. And I like how the guard rotated back to Cat and used utility to actually yeah. deny the aggressive pushes from Sentinels after losing A main. So nice little chess match on that previous round. This round here, very, very slow. The Haunt not spotted them out as it was thrown out by Dapper to get control on mid and information, but this still allows Tans to push forward with this operator. A game of one ways and stars being played over towards A still. Cover we see the out. change up of Nets positioning, mentioning that from B towards mid, turrets can be able to grab a bit of info. Mm. Oh, operator in the smoke. TP out. Uh. Ooh, the quick trade yeah. though. A triple walk into a smoke. <laughs> I love it. And the spray I back in the cloud burst, up, but the nightfall coming out on the attack. Cannot, it does actually see Shazam with this Odin just trying to EDS that. down for only one kill. But these are looking really good, at least on both ends. Oh, there, the, 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 the new update. Versus one. Shroud looking for the fake res, looking back towards our front of the site. Going for the real oh, one no. to swing out, and that's Trent with the kill. Very well no, done. No, 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 Good no. patience by the guard and not going immediately for the plant, just trying to Yung make sure that they get the kill. Oh. damage na hindi na ng line guard. of sight. Clean Kaya play. I think just be collected so was one of the, yeah. uh, probably not one of the things said, it's speculation, but just collect yourselves <laughs> a little bit more by the guard. Plays don't have to be made immediately. Make sure your teammates are there to crossfire. Obviously, Trent doing what he has it. to do in a situation. But it, it seems like they're just much more confident about their peak. Being down a player isn't stopping the guard here. It's really good to see that the game hasn't shifted their mentality at all. The Sentinels have been pretty aggressive. I've been trying to gain the space. Guards still want it first. And here, we see that win finally, right? Yeah. They're like, no, A space is ours. We're taking this. Stop smoking it. They actually put Correct. four members there immediately. And yeah. now they control that orb. They'll back up and start to go back to what they were doing in mid. Still a stack of numbers though for Sentinels towards you don't have this A site because we to stop have this Dota Falls from 10 ah, to escape walk a pick up the yeah. main. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile though, as we give that up for Sentinels into the A main site, you still have that crossfire there. So guards are still going to try to play this very cautiously. Waiting for potentially the other haunt to come back up here for Trent. While they do have a knife ready to potentially try to stop this Dota fall south towards B main. Another smoke mid. Valen has one for sight. Decides how to use it. Quick prowler oh, well, towards ten. So okay. get a call out and get a two, double lean over. Actually, about three members of Sentinels at B. Orb, orb what, grabbing left and right here. Yeah. Yeah. And as the orb gets picked up, that's an immediate null command coming out from Jonah P to take the B site. So Ooh. Dapper, first headshot there with the sheriff, but that stops him right there. Valen trades it out. We have a site open for the guard. The res coming out too, so it's going to be back on a five versus four. But we talked about ultimate, so the the op is still available for tens. We still have a cosmic divide, but at this point, with all of them funneling funneling out towards the spawn, it's going to have to be off utility and the stinger, hopefully, to do much here for mm, Zelsus. He has to get by the one way. The lane is the only fight he can take actually coming down. It's unfortunate Very because nice it does away. create the longer range. Zero point from Jonah T. Spotted a few, so we know that we're committed to try to stop and contain the guard yeah. into the site off this pulse plant. And that's the plan. We never really wanted to go into the views in the first place. We just want to make it pricey. It works out for all of these kills. Good for three overall. And that's Trent continuing to build up kills. After was that kills a reset that or was that flag? Well. And now we know Trent for. And Trent has had those rounds where he's played a lot of Sova uh, in the past. But I'm like, I'm liking so far that we're fighting back and getting these numbers on a fade. Nightfall ready into this round. And also one round away of tying things up when they have the harder mm -hmm. side of Ascent here, Riv. Right, it's not just the agent. I mean, you get the same stuff out of Fade that yeah. you kind of do out of Sova, but still seems comfortable just railing heads and taking rounds for the team. 
four to three here. A little closer to start off than we had on Breeze. Guard seem to be online right now. We'll see what they can produce for around eight. Sentinels getting a bit of a push into B main for the first time here. A little bit deeper, rather. They have had peaks and checks. Bring them down. But this will be the extremity check that they usually aren't doing. Mid's been left open a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. One round, guard was able to test that, but they haven't decided it's going to be another cat. Tree control, nightfall right away, and a nice little scope too, just to try to take control of tree for the guard. But that is going to slow things down at the same time, because that was also a detriment to not allow the guard to get through. Potentially maybe go for an underhand throw through that smoke, but there was a lot of utility that was thrown back from Sentinels. It's wild. Look at what Sentinels are, feel comfortable playing. Shroud is not moving. He is ready to play a double spot there, crossfire into sight, but he goes down on a trade. And now they have to consider what they can do. Oof. No controller on that side. That was a nice little double swing out. Spawn. Outside of the Cloud Burst 2. Zelson down. Shazam off the rotation. And this continues to be just nice from both of these teams. The pushing it, coming through, it's well read by Sentinels. Exactly. But comes out immediately. I, I just love this until this happens. Tens yes. pushing towards the B main, looking for the third kill, and he's going to get the headshot there on the Valen. Lock it down here for the Sentinels. <laughs> oh. A little bit of a fumble there. Tens. That's a cast of curse. <laughs> Absolutely cleaning up and realizing the situation. I mean, it, there's a, an arming time for the bot as well. Tens knowing well. I mean, Tens would fire through a flash there if it was on the screen before he would he would, he would try to rendezvous away. So the alarm bot's yeah. not going to scare him. Yeah, really well played there. Just simple, kind of knew he could shoot. And a uh, bit of a misplay by guard. That will haunt them coming into that round because they had positioning and they had numbers. A quick 3K by Tens. Turns the game into Sen's favor here. Still a bit of a buy for guard. And they have some money in their pocket, so not too bad. Late Storm 2 available for Saya player and trying to <laughs> initiate for him for mid control. As after the timing of the haunt from Dapper, we've already be already immediately pushed out and looking for this mid to be split. But once again, it's still tens holding the other end with a vandal in front of me. Enemy enemy tag. Draw now. This B, the B main control has been a little bit more apparent here from Sentinel the last few rounds, but no, in no goes Saya player. Great chaos created by the guard. Yeah, a little bit of a bad placement off the rendezvous points, allowing Trent to get a second kill there onto Shazam. And there's the first, I mean, this is the first lockdown I think that I've seen this half. Uh, yeah, coming out here from Trent, actually, that allows here uh, at least for the guard to play the pulse plan, and already Sentinel's going to fall back into the A site um, to save. Nicely done, and this is actually what the guard needs. Uh, even though they have money, a lot of Breeze was plagued with them being just shut down on economy. So if they can build this up, keep the players in, that's much, much better. They don't have to be dropping people. So, 5-3 to three here as we get into round 9. Uh, middle of the map, starting to get pressure a little bit. That was a pretty funky it, round from the guard. Uh, the strategies they're coming out with here, a little bit different. I think it'd be uh, credit to the assistant coach they yeah, had at Keeper after Masters, who comes in with like, kind of unconventional strats, you could say. And that might have been one of the, the ones that they rolled the dice on. Nicely done. Then pushing through spawn was really able to get the trades. Who does that? They do. <laughs> who does that? And I that? could maybe see maybe Ten's head that rendezvous point there because they had some sort of positioning that maybe market should have been covered by somebody else here from that Mark, to allow sure tens to get the top position to look back towards B main but again when you're when you're going to have to play a timing against side players dashes it's not going to be as easy Send to TP and flick right away for the that. kill so understandable that that mistake kind of happened but that's great for the guard to narrow down that lead that Sentinels has ahead. built like they did on Breeze. So once yeah. again we have a close game early Hunter Spear to come out and that pings up to well, one that's clean. pings up a second one but no kills at least Three. good information Three, uh, oh, that's a hell of a lot of damage right there. More. Yeah, and already took basically a player out of the game, but still they stand as it's sort Where of is my food grab? Why is it still in the kitchen? My How much does it slow them down? Right, they're holding back pretty far. They're playing a generic strat with their KJ, and that's just going to hold the B tiles. But their initiators on that side this time, so it becomes difficult. It's all up to Jonah P to get them in if they decide to go A. Prowler towards B main, and it, Sentinels have some great reads here. They've pushed B main the first few rounds. This time it's just a Prowler, and they are stacked towards Spike side right now. 
Zero point spotted two on the <laughs> attack way, of these if holding zone. Let me spot two defenders. Mm -hmm. They do to zero point on the attack courtesy of Jonah P. But it's still gonna be the guard looking to push back towards the A main. Good. It should be a Nebula or a Grav. Well, it's gonna be a Nebula Ooh. instead. You know, Paranoid doesn't hit him, so Shroud has open season into Ooh. the back of Hal. Oh, Saya, unfortunately, yes. right Saya's dancing inside the cloud burst. Shroud falls. Now, though, we answer back. Tens with the Guardian, the first headshot. Shot Gen, charge coming in. Hell. Swipe down now Let's for go. the guard on have. the pulse plant. Two players yeah. play towards hell nice. as Jonah P falls. Dapper goes for the 180 oh. and another 180 again on the trend. Now, the Nightfall just to secure the deal. The Line last up. position, no. as you see now. The oh. Nano Swarm getting thrown, double of them coming down, but it's still a three ah, time. Very difficult for Dan to come back That's greeted by Tens with another Guardian. Holding down the A main, and also allowing Tens to get the Duel of False in the next. Deja Vu Dapper, same spot, behind Jenny, a quick 3k. Instantly smothering the guard, like you said, rest of it picked up there by Tens and the Guardian. <laughs> so funny that he loves to pick that up, and he'll usually get a frag on each round too. It works. Yeah. Uh, it works. I mean, you're you're a chamber. You could headshot with a headhunter, aim for the head with that with that gun. <laughs> nice, nice. You have it a tool to false one shot kill. Why not go for a guardian on top of that, which is basically a headhunter too if you're hitting the landing the heads. Just clicking once. Why not? Why not? Yeah. There it is Tens again. Is a player that could do that. Six to four. Remember, we got a seven-five first half on Breeze. These teams still testing each other greatly on descent. That uh, paranoia is exactly what got Guard in from that cap side last time through three. Here it's used quite early, and they aren't able to get too close of their own on an archway shot in the A. Yeah, but no kill still allows them for the, the orb, allowing the Null Command to come out here on the attack. Zels is dancing oh. around, but it's still going to be the guard opening it up for the A side. Dapper's going to have to try to go for a hero play, trying to spray through the smokes, but the door is just going to close instead. An early five on three with a plant going down for the guard. We still at least have Sentinels already and propped up here, two towards the garden. Preller clearing out towards Cat, so they could gamble now to just push Gendo. in from the position. door, not having to look back Ooh. towards their backs. They can go for the double swing if they want to. Ah, the no. Leg now spotted as he gets the headshot off the track. <laughs> yeah, Dapper answers back with the Jonah oh, P. Yeah, but it's yeah, still yeah. a player advantage going out for the guard on the post plant. And with the op, with that all looking main, back towards uh -huh. that B main, more lineups being thrown here by Net. Delaying that clock. Turret now up. Things are looking oh. Oh, Watch out, DP though. One, though. Try to step. Punished oh, no. by Tans and Sire player sure. lines up the last two kills. And yeah. that is the guard <laughs> making it one round away of tying last things up on the first the half. <laughs> He's doing a really great job of being able to pressure into these sites. Using that utility to at least get a, f a few frags. Knowing where Shroud has been playing in the site. Well, I think in the order, the ground, the kitchen, put in shot after they've minutes. stopped smoking as much towards A main. I think we've noticed. Maybe guard are activating too fast or just between when Shroud's been able to get into those. But they've been able to really encroach past what would be gravity wells. Get themselves in. You see the pings again of which way they may want to go or what they might be facing if they do want to get to the site. Early defensive zero point. Smokes. Stars on this A spot just to hold down the alt orb. Okay. He did his job. Net was trying to look for that push. Fights back yeah. for that one, but that forces a nightfall on the attack. Nice paranoia from Valen, but it's still a one for one on both extremities of that map. But now you hear that null command coming out from the defense, and that is going to be Zelsis just trying to slow things down for a bit. Really? And now Dapper is already on the top. I think. Zelsis is looking to push forward. I don't know. Battle coming in. They have three initiators. They should be Dapper. Dapper gets picked off by Trent. Zelsa is looking for the overhand flash for the double swing after, but there it goes Trent pushing forward, and that's a great kill six, coming six. out and a great hold from GF, the guard. GF. And just like that, we have a repetition GH, GH, of Breeze where we have another GH, game in our hands. GH. Let's take a break and see the continuation after that. Over 500,000 think... viewers are currently watching this game. Hello, Valorant fans, and hopefully you're enjoying this matchup between Sentinels and the Guard because I, of course, am. We thought, at least at the beginning of both of these maps, that it was just going to be Sentinels running away with their triple initiator conks, but the Guard continue to find a way to fight back after timeouts and great reads coming up from MCE, allowing now the second half just to start on a fresh Ooh. slate. But it starts aggressive. Ooh. We have Celsius getting the first blood on the Sire players are trying to go for the shark attack into the B-Link. 
Super quick start. Kala ko nag-vape. Holy moly. Ko nag-vape siya. Quick backup by the guard. Say, okay, we need to regroup. Sentinels enjoying what they got right there. No need to push. And this is what they do all the time. We saw this on Breeze. They keep back. They're slow. And Saya player to have as your first one is so big. They set up a two. He's got a three one right now. And it looks like they're actually going to choose right. Sentinels are going to wait this out a little bit more. Expect a lot of this round to go away and be this little excursion to try and pull out a little bit more util. They want to see at least one or two members of what agents they'll be facing at these sites right now. Yeah. Oh my god, what That's a zero fake so far. Zels is almost in the B. Exactly. Zero point recon dart, but there's still going to be that killjoy utility towards A main. So that's good delay being set up by net and allowing this rotation to come back. And Sentinel seems like they just want to focus on taking this A site. But it's a double push up on Catwalk, so net has a lot left. into his hands right now. Hiding inside that nebula. And as it dissipates, Elise gets the first kill until he's traded off by Zelsis for another kill coming in for Sentinels. In the back of Jenny, Trent fights back with that frenzy. Long range somehow onto tents. And this is looking again. One of those clean retakes on pistol for the guard as now they take the lead in this game. Feeling good <laughs> on their pistols. They're able to keep trading this. Dapper last time says it's ours. So from both maps, one pistol each for these teams. They seem to trade pretty evenly when it comes to that. Now we'll get what well, Marshall's on the next round. Out for delivery. Long range finally. And safe here. Nice clean up with the frenzy. So hungry. And they actually had a good lean on this, right? They had a bit of a, bit, a play towards B. They knew what was happening was basically a fake. Could they didn't the bite on Zelsis showing footsteps or, or walking towards the B. By the B's. way, the you guys, really if you haven't done so already, Make sure they were clean. Three towards A to start this one off as they switch where Net's playing here for round two. He's a good all of his utility. So Every one morning. Of those rounds where it could get very hectic too, because you're looking at a lot of firepower in Sentinel's lineup versus yeah, so a bunch of specters in close range battles being set up by the guard. You see that they're edging and closing in on the defense just to try to close up on mid. <laughs> they do spawn a little bit of retaliation coming out from the Sentinels out towards Pizza. Gonna stay quiet here, Riv. We're we're really. Just trying to punish the guard on mistakes off rotations. Tens is already posted up, ADSing down towards the headhunter to watch towards spawn. See him. He's hungry. It's not jet play anymore. He's got to wait for people to come to him usually. He gets antsy in these situations, but he usually makes the shot. We'll see. Antsy. <laughs> Zero point over towards kitchen. Or kitchen uh, market, rather. Kitchen. As they get themselves to safety. You put an A lot in the back of the site here. This is up to Trent. And that's just on the other side. It looks like Sentinels want it, but it's so slow down this lane side. Side player is going to start off on 10 like that. Yeah. 30 seconds left. Looking good for the rest of the guard. Crossfire towards that back of the B side, and there you go. I mean, at that point, you were hoping that Tense could actually get a pick towards this mid because you could have a really, really late rotation back towards the A site. After that TP, trying oh, to work no. up towards tree. And oh, as, no. of course, as you saw it, Riv, when he lost oh, that no, fight, no, it was just, no. okay, let's full commit towards the B side to get a plant down. So, mm -hmm. great way for the guard to actually go into a bonus round where they still have some really good SMGs uh, and, and figure out what they could do with this. I mean, Sia player is still deciding if he wants to go with a Marshall or not in this mid hold. <laughs> so he's going Vandal. There we go, back to Marshall. Easy Marshall. He's actually had quite a few shots on Breeze on it, so he's feeling comfortable. Keep the money down, maybe get an operator as soon as possible. We saw a double operator being a defense on Breeze. Once he doubled, <gasps> why did he shoot? Trying to pull one of these out and play mid in later rounds, as we see with the Marshall here. But they should have shoot. Rotator lean coming in from Jonah P. It looks like they'll keep him on well watch. He's just jumping in the back of spawn right now. And Sentinels continue now to keep this composition spread. Much different than the triple initiator we saw them play on Breeze. Slowly has now one of the initiators on where it's going to be Shazam and Anubis. Saya player is tempting fate here. Oh, Just no. Just to give an idea for Trent to get a frag. That was so close because uh, you saw that dark cover come out too to try to save yeah. Trent so he can fall back into the B-Mean. But at least we're still trying to delay with the smokes being thrown out on the defense. So they only lose one player in the process. Updraft coming out from Slayer player. Trying to get a Marshall kill, but that doesn't get any kills yet. Both make that all of Sentinels rotating back and looking to rotate towards the A site where once again, we're seeing why this Killjoy is still very useful for this composition of the guard. It, it is, is big. It's a full lockdown for Matt. 
Use that left. utility. Still some insight. They have to get by being detected. This gives the rotation time. That's the important part. No fight is what Net wants right now. He's waiting for the yeah. team. They're waiting for the retake. And delay, delay, delay as they're moving into the site with 14 seconds left on the clock. The plant only starts now, so this gives the opportunity for that retake to happen. Potentially a double flank, but Valen decides otherwise. Moving with the rest of the team on the top of Heaven, and a late lurk from Net back towards to cover mid, and then they're going to try to retake and re-hit together. Nice a little zero point coming out, at least from Jonah P. That's going to ping a couple of players down towards Hell. A smoke towards the front. The Paranoia misses, though, and that's going to be a great position, at least for the Sentinels at Hell to get all of these kills. But Jonah P answers back for three kills. Nice. The backstab from Celsius after all. Finally, a Sentinel stops that bleeding on that retake from the guard, but that is three kills on a bonus round for yeah. the guard. Costly. <laughs> Sentinel's doing a good job of staying alive. It did get a little messy towards the end. Guard doing themselves a good job of getting that money they need. There's the operator we were talking about now in the hands of Saya player. That's what the Marshall buy was for. You see that utility towards the back top side. Zero points had already been used at this point, so there's a bit of an idea of what space was being played, which is yeah. why I think it made it so easy for Sentinels to be able to get in and find the shots they needed without second-guessing what was going to be aiming at them. Peek here? No. A quick smoke on the cat. They deny any peaks there and maybe get a bit of mid control after, oh, and that's going to be Shazam at the top of, front of it, making sure they have land. a call on what's happening. KJ Utility switch back over to be mm. here for right. uh, the guard fans. They continue to keep Sentinels guessing, and I think Sentinels are doing a pretty good job at getting close enough, figuring out if they might be dealing with Nets Utility, and then figuring out what would be the easiest course of action. Yeah. Keep those audio cues coming up. If you hear mm -hmm. a flash coming out towards the A site and you know that there's a dark cover for a one-way on the A site, then there's strong chances that you flip-flop the rotations and positioning here of that mm -hmm. killjoy. Mm -hmm. And now going back into a one-way towards A main, Valen's watching it from heaven. And a knife doesn't get information on Cap, but at least it gives information for the guard where potentially they could focus a lot seconds. of crossfires into the A main. That's actually 30. looking at Jonah P and Valen 30, into 90. that A main site. Another one way. Bit of a one way smoke here coming in from Valen. Wait, Shroud's hit? That's the rest of the team has to follow. Zaya player lands it onto Zelsis and Jonah P gets the wall bang onto Shazam and this is a strong oh, hold for the guard. And you mentioned it, Shroud made it through so he's able to answer back onto Zaya player but it's basically a four versus two as he gets pinged oh. out by a haunt and that's a beautiful wall bang by Trent. That's some great stuff that we'd like to see. Tens by himself, first headshot, connects onto net. And we're looking for that double swing, but there's basically no time. This oh, is a coming in for the guard, and somehow, somehow he gets yeah. a kill for blind on a uh, trend, no, uh, but it's still the round for the guard. Okay, I guess it, it seemed like a uh, bit of miscom there, just on the entry, right? As right, soon as they I'm went to hit, Sentinels was actually hit with a so bit of utility hungry. they weren't expecting, so as Shroud was able to make it, everybody else wasn't. It was kind of like a jet going forward and the team can't close deal. After that, your smoker's in sight who really wants to provide oh, yeah. cover for the rest of the team and doesn't have angles covered. So guard taking big advantage shirt. of that. Nicely done to keep themselves in position there and not do too much rotating. They again switch the Killjoy play to keep Sentinels guessing. You the Sheriff play, play for Sentinels. Play. This may be fast towards B. It looks like they'll keep it slow and look for some long-range shots. A 3-2 defense played here by the guard. Looks like Valen just continues to set up one ways at least towards A. They they keep doing that precedent, even if there were a Sentinels player there or not. And uh, Aries now for Trent, or Sliggy likes to call it a res, I think. I'm not too <laughs> sure. The a res? Yeah, what's the conversation, Sliggy, around that? Yeah. Good question. That said, though, this is uh, an eco coming out for Sentinels, just trying to see and try to get information at least for the defense. But I just wanted to get back to that before yeah. that ping that we saw from the haunt out from Trent to get that wall bang kill onto Shroud before mm -hmm. is one of the things that I like to see because oh. Trent was also kind of known to do these no. Aldrin wall bangs too. So I'm, I'm, I like to oh, yeah. do this on a different agent as well, being uh, being the Fae getting as much value onto this agent as he would on a Sova. Great damage on a Dapper there. You see a little crossfire between the operator and that. Real hard to be able to get past that defense. Tour de Force now uh -huh. peeking Cat, looking for a shin, looking for anything. <laughs> 30 not, seconds. Not going to get it. Maybe some toes. 
Well, you know, when great, are these one ways are a great job of slowing down Sentinels, but I'm not sure that's what stops them. Being slow on Breeze was how Sentinels gained a lot of their rounds. Yeah. Guard doing what they can to create the one ways, but it seems like Sentinels will wait it out and still get to push through. Shroudy first again. Underhand throw being thrown out here, but that winds up both players off to the card. And we made it through, but there's only six seconds. So I can go down. And that's not going to help too much. Once again, another one of those situations where Tens is going to be by himself yeah, with no time left it. on the clock. And despite Net not being able to get yeah. any of these nanosaurs popped off on Tree, <laughs> it's still good enough here for the guard to get ready for the push from Sentinels. Oh, yeah. If being able to basically have things in order, fail safes, the guard seems to have been setting up where Net is really, really well with that. And while it was a question, right? How much does KJ shut down, or sorry, KO shut down Killjoy now? It's like, how much does Killjoy really alt in the map unless they're popping off? So I don't think we've seen much between that uh, battle, if there was any to be had. Guard happy, pumped, fist bumps around 10 to 7 here as they look to bring us to Icebox, our final map on this best of three series to start off the NALCQ. And we'll see how this one goes. Sentinels call the timeout. They've you guys know been able to break elimination kind of the process. surface I don't, I don't defense know of what so Guard is setting up. They, again, haven't been working too much mid, just like Breeze. They're working left. They're working right on the extremities. But, again, this time they have a bit of a flank. No they're usually working two players off, whether it be Dapper and, and Zelsis or Dapper 10, something like that. Mm -hmm. And it, it seems like they're trying to get more and more info out of Guard, but they're not allowing that game to happen anymore. They were read so Why quickly, and it seemed like downloaded early on Breeze Grenade. before they adapted to that sentinel strategy here they're being very close to the chest with how they're defending where they're defending and sentinels aren't having as easy as a time getting into sights now the storyline at least now for the guard is that they're actually able Ooh. to get a lot of value out of this these five versus four is getting the first blood and converting them into wins it was quite low going into stage two and now currently looking to be at top of like the 70s 80s percent and it's all off just, again, the utility that they have on the defense for the guard. If it's not going to be on the Killjoy utility, it's still that KO smoke combo that works out quite well. And finally, as we get a first blood now in favor of Sentinels, that's a player falling on mid for the guard. And that opens up a lot of that map opportunity to control for Sentinels as they're leaning towards this. Great little adaptation there by Sentinels. They were able to identify that it was Saya player that was out and in the open alone. But now this B has coming in, so forget about that. <laughs> the Nightfall also to ping out Valen inside that site. Cosmic the fight on the attack, but you don't need to be death if you see them right in front of you. Oh. That's three kills for Valen right now. A two versus two. Valen looking for the fourth. Connects onto that one as well. And Shroud on a two versus one. Let's see what you got here, Shroudy. Nothing at all as Net. Seals the ace, but you want that round if you're the guard. Yeah, and that, and that last kill, uh, really well played in the beginning by Sentinels. Your guard wins the round, but the identifying Saya player was kind of out and scattered, so a lot of crossfire is set up in mid. Obviously, somebody's going to help him, and that was a first kill for Sentinels. Saving Grace, Valen in sight. Holy crap, 4K coming up real quick. Able to completely shut down the 5v4 conversion that Sentinels was looking for. And that's exactly oh, the round that Guard wants to put up. Having this type of lead on Sentinels. Puts him back down in the Econ. Stinger by on Sheriff by. Sentinels are going to have a hard time finding frags here. As again, the Guard are playing back in the sights. Tough to get to. Saya play all the way down mid with an operator to start. Hey, extremities don't worry. Let's try mid. Nope, Saya's there with a knob. So that's an early five versus four, but a eco for Sentinels trying to get inside the B side for a plant. Trent holding the back of B with an Odin. Saya trying to go for some blind picks through the smoke. But it's still going to be just a great hold for two players in the back on top of that. And now as they're forcing from the lockdown players to push towards the spawn, it's greeted by Shorty. It's greeted by Molly. And now the guard are one kill away of looking to lock down a Santa forces to a third map. But it's the off shot that gets a miss. But still Trent comes in with the Odin. And we might see this third map in a series, and I wouldn't want it any other way, Riv. Neither, neither would I. Everybody stepping up that needs to there. Saya player able to come up with a big frag. We saw some from Jonah P there. Both of them, Saya and Jonah, account for 50% of the first duels coming into LCQ for the guard. So you'll always see them popping off, and they keep true to that. Saya with a big opening frag on that last round to help them bring it to match point. 
a lot of big plays all around. Valen stepping up too here. A star power showing through in the second map for the guard and the reason they held the top spot in NA. A glimmer of that being shown to us right now. Looks like we're going to get a quick pause on this. I'm okay for that pause. We need a breather. We yeah, need yeah, a breather yeah. to also explain or try to show and demonstrate as finally on the scoreboard, Steven, Trent's at 25 and 11 uh, on this map so far. And I know he's put up some great numbers on the first map as well, being at 28 and 18 in that double overtime. So Sick. I just want to tie this Sick. in onto that 4K that Valen had before here, Riv, because that's one of those moments where after that 4K, you saw from the players' um, reaction that they, they just stood up and started screaming, feeling yeah. that heat, feeling the vibes. And it's it's the good old guard that we had from Stage 1 that we didn't see too much during Stage 2. And I'm loving this resurgence it of the guard, especially against the Sentinels matchup where the last time that these two played against each other, this was like a 13-1 a, a <laughs> on that mm -hmm. second map in the series uh, for the guard. And they just and basically thrashed the Sentinels in that series. Exactly. It's, it's kind of that... Nothing can break this vibe feeling you see in them every time you get the cams, every the time they're making plays, even if it's they're down in members, way. you're like, well, they could still do it. That is coming back a little bit because it was a gusto that was very much lost for them and kind of Sentinels too, right? The guard we saw playing <laughs> continuous uh, compositions. They still had a few that they played since March, which would easily be downloaded by other teams. While those compositions might <laughs> work, <laughs> you can't really make them work if a team knows exactly how you're going to use it. So Guard will call a timeout after this, using their time efficiently to make sure they can solidify this last round. Probably holding a few alts unless they know they'll oh, necessarily yeah. necessarily secure it so they can have a fail safe for the rounds to come. But yeah. looking to close it out here. That operator, again, has been such a pivotal point for the guard to convert rounds, whether it be on Breeze in our first map or here on uh, Ascent. That's been something that we see the guard going through very frequently right Rather back into early. it cup of alts as you mentioned before here null command and nightfall available for the retakes if they want to try to figure out how they want to cycle through this utility and the ultimates for the guard Sia player with an operator also has blades more but it's going to be sentinels taking the first step pushing aggressively towards tree that forces out the null command from jonah b who does get a nice kill onto 10 who is fully blinded towards tree a swing out from wine that doesn't amass for a kill so we're trying to fight back we're clawing back here for sentinels they're at a player disadvantage but all split up across the map but here comes the hunter's fury on the attack allowing this push forward from dapper but it's not even needed shazam gets a double kill with the hunter's fury a player advantage going back into the sentinels but dapper lurks in to make it a three versus one now saya player with this operator and the blade storm available if he wants to just trying to see if it could catch one off guard as the plant only comes in now planted this is top yeah <laughs> i mean he has that flank being watched you don't really have to peek that much and just because of like five simple seconds that went yeah. down off that spike you now see saya player opting to save his weapon I was going to be pretty uh, amazed if he actually tried to go for that. He was walking forward <laughs> with confidence. Only W keys to be pressed, but he did find the S key. Turns himself <laughs> around, and he heads back towards B. Saving the operator. Uh, Bladestorm is there as well. So if he gets himself into a tight situation, he can make this work. I don't know. They're not going to go hunting. So Sentinels pick up a pretty clean round. You can see most of the action there coming through Tree. It has been how Sentinels have wanted to fight these situations, making sure they either get the smoke or a full fight with somebody in Tree. The one-way smokes have not been something they want to deal with at the A main area, unless it's just kind of for the post-plant retake. But again, here you see the push through right up the gut with Hunter's Fury, and it makes it so hard to defend this position. And Shazam knows that, especially this late in the round with how Sentinels, again, try to read the rotations timing was there yeah and even dapper eating one pulse off his, off his nice team it's hunter's fury it. to break the timing it's off the around. rotation back yeah. from trent yep. with that odin so this is the and some very nice scaling from sentinels going into understanding where the positioning was with the guard in that mid round this round though as we had that timeout previously from the guard we couldn't close it out but thankfully we still have a lot of utility and uh, economy rather and a night ball still available so a player trying to go through the smoke dashes away couldn't get the kill and pulls out a blade storm but mid control under slight control as trent plays the off angle first kill on the celsus mm. up drop coming out in 10 swings out with the vandal running gun to make yeah. it a four on versus four the smoke there just denying the angle those two wanted to use to actually have a crossfire tens 
approaching it perfectly to get his frag. Now in the 4v4, it looks like they will start to pressure a bit towards that left side. And this is one of the only times we've seen Sentinels try to work towards mid. Taking down Trent's going to be a huge one because he has been so pivotal in being able to shut down these site takes. B is going to be the idea as Shroud prepares the stars. That's no nightfall for the retake too. So you're hoping that those exactly. daggers are going to refresh from side player with him landing as many shots of the blade storm as he can because he's going to be by himself in the site. The paranoia is already wasted by Shroud in the back. First off shot connects, but it gets traded out instantly by Shroud. And that's a plant left. coming down now for Sentinels, and we're still far away from the rotate for the guard. Spike planted. It's going to be a pretty far rotate from Jonah P. Looks like the hold on the exits here, at least for now. Jonah P is moving super slow towards towels. That's the only way I would think that. But no, they're going to be entering the site. Valen Lee oh, wants yeah. these frags. Jonah's going to have to move you. a little bit faster if they really want to use all the utility correctly. You're happy that Tens is still alive because that yeah. forced Jonah P to break that trademark. He has to give his position away. It's a two versus one. Both mm. players from Sentinels holding in the back of the site. A switch mm -hmm. of weapons and also a switch in terms of decisions, not trying to go for that two versus one. And we're saving our gun That's into the Knicks. We're gonna try to fight again, but again, as I talk about ultimates that are still Jeez. available, let's Sounds keep an alive. eye out on that nightfall from Trent. See if he can use it. Nice job by Sentinels there, encroaching, getting onto the site, but making sure that they're doing it without really having to take fights, right? And if yeah. they do, there's multiple members to answer onto that fight. We saw as soon as Sciatip player took a shot, he was shot. That's why he was tagged and couldn't get out of that situation, right? He had already dashed backwards from what we saw in mid. So it actually is incredible that they were able to find him again in one of their first engages to be able to take that operator out. Uh, Sentinels are doing a really good job of feeling out the map. They're going to probably meet a little bit of defense here coming out of B main. Guard for the first time is trying to get a hold of their own extremities in different one ways being thrown out A. It's like the Prowler just gets <laughs> shot out here. And Bob Lake very early in the aware morning. that it's going to be Capra on the other side. Welcome man. Broken early. This is a fake right now for Zelsis. He's just unloading right now as we're moving back up towards tree. Haunt now spotting net towards that mid on that garden. And Zelsis, as he runs away, still gets a kill onto Jonah P. This is a great start now for Sentinels to get back into the A site. As they tried to cross over before, they're always stopped by this garden. At least we're able to get into the site this time for Sentinels, and it might be another one of those situations where we might have to save here. Sire player breaking at least the trademark out towards B main, but look you at that. They're just playing it. back towards spawn. Van Silly. I mean, you, you have a five round cushion, Riv. I, I honestly start to get flashbacks of how Sentinels were able to basically start to control the game when on it on their game point for their opponents. How oh, they yeah. started to change their play style that it looked like why didn't they bring this out before? And again, they have this method where they're basically getting in and one player of the guard is down and well, the guard is saving. saving. Right? It's literally surgical for these last so few rounds where the guard can't use the operator, can't use a few ultimates. You said Trent, let's figure out let's watch that nightfall can't get that usage in still because of how Sentinels is playing, guarding themselves, yeah, that's, that's and prepping the defense ever. as they're moving forward, too. 5v4 goes stale on that one, but goes in favor of Sentinels, bring it within two. Game point still for the guard. They're right there to tip this one over and get us into Icebox. Oof. This is this is getting very, very interesting, definitely, in this matchup. And this is not, as you mentioned here, Riv, one of the first times that we see Sentinels being able to play comeback games. As nope. we were talking about, hey, the, the good old Sentinels is like, oh, yeah, this brings me flashbacks of Sentinels <laughs> versus 100 Thieves and probably flashbacks from Hiko oh, when you had Tens get that 3K onto Haven. I know you're watching here, Hiko, and sorry to bring that back to you. <laughs> but now Sentinels are two rounds away to force another overtime into this game. Economy's still good for the guard, but it's quick for Sentinels inside the B site. Dapper somehow flicks it to the kill onto Trent. Back of the site now is going to be net being hit by concussed from that Nova Pulse. Net is trying to stay alive in the back. Nice flash coming out because Zelsis was full blinded Ooh. from that. The swing Ooh. out from Tens, and Net was still ready off that kill. And that song, that oh, dark that. cover coming out, and Net, Net is just holding down towards the back of the site. I can't believe this is happening. What a hole right now from Net and the rest of the guard in the back of the B site. And we are going Let's to go. a third map. I'm so ready for this third map. I feel like Icebox is the one that kind of could really sort out how 
how these teams have played, what they've been working on. I feel like the last two maps of Breeze is straightforward, a little bit more of a shooting range. Ascent will put you close and figure out how well you can work in anchoring each other. But Icebox, about those rotations, really about the site takes and retakes. I cannot wait to see what these two teams have for each other as we're going to a third map. Same thing for Sentinels. I mean, when Ender was talking about it on the analyst desk where there was some struggles, hit or miss for a cent for that very team. I <laughs> thought that we had some similar storylines so, yeah, for I mean, Sentinels I want on more. this map as Medyo well. Cool but now this is a brand new page. We want to know what they're going to pull out here on Icebox and what does the guard have ready for us for Icebox as well. And we'll find that out after the break. Is this, is this copyrighted music? Sarap shadows, Jalebi spaghetti, top tier Pinoy spaghetti. Truly top tier. <laughs> if you've been waiting for falling in love, hey. Try to play background music because I'm not sure if I'm not sure if copyright free yung play no Valorant. That's why I'm trying to overlap the music. Alright. Somehow it just works. One v two. Ten. Three position. Oh, one v one, and he spams that. The Red Bull clutch. Ah, scripted ng cheers. <laughs> Wait, temple mo na ako kape. I need coffee. I and need we coffee. are back from the break, as it's going to be a three-map series after all. The guard fight back in the map two, is so but pretty. it is another close one, Mimi. As the guard takes the series or the the series to map three, it's a 13-10 victory over Sandals. We had overtime map one. It's still not easy, but it's coming together for the guard. Yeah, I, I mean that series started off, or, or excuse me, that map started off pretty rough for the guard i would say they were making quite a few mistakes on their attacking side was letting a few rounds slip <clears> away <throat> and then in the second part of that first half they really rallied back and found a lot of value well their post plants were you know a little tumultuous at times the uh, sentinels were still struggling to find value on that retake despite the triple initiator comp they claimed six rounds on the attack and just set be themselves up for coffee. such a successful second half to be able to close that yeah out. i mean b site was a disaster for sentinels you know one player down on site after sentinels were successful taking the site it's just getting four kills right first it was Valen from behind dice then it was net all the way back in backside Sentinels just sort of funneling out one by one that being said central started on the defense looking much better up until they had to switch to attack and while it started out with sentinels looking for like slow creeping plays whether it was posting tens up in mid or like lurking up through cat and trying to get a flank over by ramp like those didn't end up working out super well for Sentinels. It, it wasn't until Sentinels started trying to like funnel in five players through main they found some success, but again, guards' anchors were too strong. I mean, the slow pace just kept getting slower, despite having this triple initiator composition and showing some solid utilities on the execute. It was very rare you were actually seeing a solid follow-up out of the rest of Sentinels. They don't have that dedicated dive player. Mm. And for tens, it was so often that he was playing these rounds really slow, out on a lurk, and wasn't finding value in the late round when those site executes were actually coming through, which, like you said, Chrissy, just meant the, the anchors for the guard were getting so much impact round yeah. after round. And, and to Dapper's credit, like, he was the guy that was just charging in full steam ahead for Sentinels, and there were quite a few rounds where he was successful on an individual level, and maybe sometimes there wasn't quite the trade coming in or whatnot. Uh, on the other side of things, though, I was a little bit disappointed on 
the entry play from the guard on their attack. Yes, they squeezed out six rounds, and Trent had a huge impact on how they were able to do that. But Saya player on the jet, still locking in the jet on ascent. You pick that primarily for the reason of the smoke dash into sight, whether that's to get on top of generator towards A or over onto the B side as well. But he wasn't quick spinning to clear those co close le uh, left and right corners, right? He's a human Sova drone, but two right. different times that I could count, he was not he's checking that close angle, and the person directly behind him, usually Valen, ended up <clears> getting cut <throat> down. And that was a big problem for the guard that I hope they can remedy moving forward. And on top of that, there were still some weird moments in the post plant. We saw some lineups that weren't really connecting. We saw the door being closed on a player that was back towards catwalk multiple times. But despite some of the issues, the, the guy that was stepping up uh, was Trent in yeah. such a big way across yeah. this map. It, it did kind of feel like a fight of the fades early on, but it was Trent who was coming out on top. I, he looked so good for the guard. Just seeing how he's been, honestly, hitting his form from stage one, because we expected that yes. in stage two. Stage two, Trent really fell off. He took the L, plus ratio, all that nonsense. But he is, do, back, kids? he is back to that stage one form here, Ender, where we're seeing him win rounds single-handedly and also setting up his team with great utility. Yeah, you know, he, this is a guy that made his name at the start of this year on this map of Ascent, right? This is where all the highlight reels of him getting the wall bangs, the 1v3s, 1v4s, it all came together for him on this map. And again, that fade play, securing late rounds for the guard, because like you were saying, they got a little sketch at times, but Trent was absolutely on form today and looked really solid on Breeze as well. Yeah, the clutches were fantastic as an individual, like you can see here, he was popping. He was back to the form where he is taking over the server single-handedly. And uh, I mean, for this guy, I think the, the fade roll is looking comfortable and uh, i mean for trent as a whole I, I think it's just a matter of confidence right i think this team lost a lot of their confidence coming in towards stage so two they had their rough run at the land in so iceland they come back play, and continue like, with that rough performance but now they're coming in towards this game and it's looking while well, we still have seen some shaky one or two moments games. like they are returning to that coordination yes i've been learning how to play expected out of stage one and, and let's keep in mind too uh, like yeah they lost map one but map one was their perma ban last stage and it's been their guys just tuned in to my stream because of this now, sure, uh, you can make the I usually play I stream Valorant Mondays to Fridays 5am I usually play controllers or sentinels but I've lately I've been learning how to play duelist who that she get diva diva yes get pushado sha comfortable territory as we're moving to ice box and that's something that we've seen the guard actually play quite well and and it's a map they've picked somewhat regularly in the past yeah it was a map that they started trying to play like the double controllers uh, a few times on which is an interesting look of how to play that map too and it's a map that it, it's one yes, of those where it was like always like this is the map that you're totally fine playing the jet you usually most comps have both a jet and a chamber yeah. that you're locking in to take extremity control by the way bago na yun take early you level up well. exclamation um, point so level up uh, my picture I don't know like this is a map that I think guard obviously have a very pic good chance picture, my, here, up against sentinels but uh, the way sentinels have been playing too I've been fairly impressed overall with the, the changes in their comps yeah it absolutely has been I think the initiator play we've seen across the first two maps can continue here I want to talk though more so about the composition that guard tends to run here in recent memory when they've been playing in tier two events they've moved away from the jet they've been playing that kind of more standard these days dual list comps they don't bring out the killjoy but they flex Sion towards the chamber here which has been looking like a better role for him as of late well the agent select is coming through i i think honestly my eyes are going to be on the controllers because we we saw it in map one the impact that some of those Viper setups had taka on lang, both lang. sides of the Baguhin map. Even so much command. just to, to break it down Ooh. there in the post-map. I'm is. curious to see what's going to happen here. We got the Brimstone. Okay, so uh, this is a bit of an EMEA-style uh, pick. I believe uh, it was... Oh, was it FPX that was playing it that I liked it? No, I think it was it, Mech. It was Mech. It was Mech it was first, mech. and then Optic yes. stole this comp as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I actually, I'm a huge fan of the Brimstone. I used to be a double smokes eater on this map. I thought it was absolute garbage. Then I watched some Mech VODs uh, in, in, in preparation for this LCQ that's coming up. And the way they use the Brimstone on defense in particular, they don't waste Brimstone smokes early on in rounds. They will save it for the post plant, and you can create nasty one ways on both the A site by belt and by pipes, as well as on the B site too with yellow and green. You can just make it impossible for teams to play off site in the post plants. If you are keeping two smokes up with Brimstone, it's so frustrating to deal with. Yeah, and on top of that, the two initiator players, it's Valen, it's Trent, it's the players that have been popping off thus far for the guard. And in this composition, you get a lot of that freedom. You can uh, kind of flash through your own smokes. You can cat through your own smokes on that defensive side. And same to be said in the posts on attack, get a lot of value there. On the other side, for Sentinels, they're playing a pretty 
pretty standard comp. This is what the guard has been playing previously. This is what a lot of teams in NA have been playing. You bring out your Sage, you yeah, bring out your Chamber as your pseudo duelist. It's kind of what you'd expect if you've looked at what, what we've seen thus right. far for the side of Sentinels. I'm excited for another KO map from Celsius. I've had kind of back and forth thoughts. I know you have as well uh, of KO on this map and how much value it provides. But when you're playing against a double smoke comp, I actually think it's a really great agent uh, to bring into the fold. Well, it's time to find out who's going to be taking the series as we are jumping into map three. It's Icebox, the third map decider. Our casters are standing by. Rivington, Pansilli, are you still awake? Oh, I'm definitely awake. It's not It's oh, not it's... late in a day. My age doesn't show. But this is a great series that we have so far. And I love that we're going into Icebox for the third map because both of these teams have been cold in this series. And I love it, Rip. We're seeing the guard. We have Balan that's going to be IGLing, but not even playing a smoke. He's playing a KO. We switched some stuff around. We've been cooking around stuff for the guard. And also for Sentinels, it's been answered. No more yeah. Jet in the last three maps that they've played. Just there abandoning that and keeping Tense full time on that chamber. Right, and we did think this map chamber pool could to lead things. to some Jet if they had to do it. We said, oh, okay, Jet could be available. Didn't happen. My Cooper brought in after Masters, assistant coach for the pool. guard. No, yeah, some you. of these unconventional stats. Right, strats, and we see the Brimstone I now. I've I've always wondered problem. about seeing more Brim I'm on Icebox. Those 18-second smokes almost put you within a window of being level. aggressive. Level. Right, you, you, you put down smokes, and it's either a hard fake to the other side, or you don't have yeah. smokes anymore. Be super interesting to see how they play it. A focus for now here, guard on attack first. First, this is the final map, so picked by neither, just thrown in off of what was banned. Let's see who's done their homework. Dapper's pushing in the maze for the wall. Oh, I love it. The wall also gives the information with all of these shots coming in that it is a hard hit for the guard on the A side. Underhand flash, but we're staying safe behind the jet. Maze, maze. That's two opening kills coming out. Make that even sentinels across the board. The last oh. one is going to be spotted on top of that, oh. too, in front of the orb. And that's Saya player. Elise is not going to get the fullest to start things off for sentinels, but we continue to trade these pistols accurate, back and accurate, forth right? between it's sentinels and the guard so far, unless Saya even player. If you're still Pulls out some magic. Four Ooh. bullets left off the headhunter. Make that even three. His position's given away on the top of the A nest. And he's just trying to isolate some one versus ones. Wall's about to come down. Left. Oh my gosh. We've fallen okay. back as well, but Zels is going into back for 10. And there's that peak. We're about to see the swing. <laughs> and that's it. The frenzy for Zelsis. We made ends meet. Sentinels gets the pistol. Daffer's wall creating such a nasty choke point right there that guard had to get through. As soon as that wall went down, yeah, it broke and it didn't have much time to solidify fully, but it became much less of an angle that Sentinels had to bear down on to take down the guard as they piled through that bottleneck. Tiana, first round Sentinels, right. it's kind of, this is how it's gone. Sentinels grab first round, first half, guard have grabbed second round pistol of second true. half. We'll see if it stays true for this game. They're keeping it consistent for us. Pretty much unbreakable here as they throw a zero point life. over to get a quick check. A little bop there on two shrouds. So First game, no, this is the get too much information. Already. <laughs> Vipers BO3. playing B. Sweet moves. I mean, BO2. I like it. I like it. Hey, One way going the, up. Dodge the dart. Yeah. Continues to dance. <laughs> Fight comes in now. It's the rest of the guard are <laughs> trying to get some control towards this B main, but that. Poison oh, Orb, just slowing things out a lot here, courtesy of Shroud. Still has Snake Bites to work with. And the thing is, right now for the Guard, is Who's they don't there? have a Sage. So if you're going to try to go for there. these tap plants, exactly. then Snake Bites could slow them down and somehow Tens gets a Headhunter headshot onto Trent. Going through the smoke, second one to fall, side player answers back on yellow. And it's going to be chamber on chamber, but a drop on the other end, and the 180 for the kill. The ping coming out, Junipi with the right click. And now it's a three versus oh, one. That's good. Looks pretty good after all here for the guard on their eco. Yeah, nicely done. Ten's been able to find a pretty great frag here, getting up onto that box and star that barrel on snowman. You just take somebody's head off on the uh, the crates down towards B long. So easy peasy to start that one off. Headhunter coming in big. His vandals are picked up along with some specters being saved. And the guard do get in for some damage. And we've seen an A and a B now. Kind of testing out the map. Seeing what feels good, making sure they're not going to slip on any black ice while they get into the site and get a plant down. Only a few frags suffered by the side of Sentinels here, so a lot of armor saved, a lot of money there to be worked with in these next few rounds as the bonus comes through. Mm -hmm. 
They're also doing a good drone. job of getting information from both of these KOs so far. Valen getting a ping earlier on. This round it's going to be Zelsus yeah. tagging two into the B main. Shazam also getting information with the Alamos. Picking one and spawn in a second in the back of mid. So understanding now that the guard are holding a default to start things off. No rotates coming out yet, but you have to get ready for deniability mm. on this B site. Mm -hmm. Shroud is going to have to play it solo at least for now. Yeah, they've kept the same defense on the side of Sentinel so far. Test with weapons now on the last round. Rinse and repeat here for the guard. A nice Viper's bite to come out. Slow things down. It's all about the delays so the rotation can come in. And already, three members at B for Sentinels here to defend. And just a little things too. Shroud understanding that the knife is going to get ready. Stays outside of the radius towards Orange. Right, right. Puts another snake bite onto the ground. But at least we still get a plant for the guard. Now the attempt of a retake. Off, not really a bonus here. We got four rifles and two specters mm. on the defense for Sentinels. And there's a lot of utility being mm. held, but still a five versus four. Player advantage, slow orb allowing Sentinels to creep forward, but Saya player is even it up the tally. In the back mm. of Yellow, Hawk coming out, breaking crosshair placement, but a double swing in the front. The volley missed on top of oh, that, but it's a oh lineup to allow Valid to get oh. only one. But Holy. after that, oh my that's gosh. gonna end it. Dapper gets the kill on the second one, and at some point of that, Molly was on the ground. It was gonna be a different story for sure. They get another one and the res. Sentinels feeling so good about this. And I was thinking about them like, okay, no wall, they no sage wall, they still get the plant down. And I feel like with the no sage, you're saving yourself from now KO being able to attack you through the wall. Viper still having been able to attack you through the wall, right? That's gonna be something you almost deal with all the time. So they yeah. forego that, put down more smokes to create their own angles, but still Sentinels find a way with their initiators in hand to get through and make sure that defense is there. Dapper's wall has been coming in huge. Like just the yeah. retake tech he's been using, the places he's putting it, is giving Guard a hell of a time to get their positioning down. You bring up a great point about the uh, the fragment against the wall, so we'll see if the Guard yeah. has something cooked up once they play at a defense against Sentinels. But looking at the round so far, this is supposed to be an eco. For the attack half, <laughs> now we spot some legs to make it a four you versus four. Play, I was going to say we had a great play. start with, with Shazam falling early. I play a real hurt on this one. Looks like he is kind of taking a back seat to be in a second peak. Is Jonah P here? Sheriff first. That's Whoa. crazy. He pulls out a total false at low HP. As yeah. you just mentioned, so yeah. they're, they're really banking on Sire player getting an opener here, and it's an off angle from tens at yellow. This is hold. It's like a mid hold, but look, the rendezvous position that tens has is so interesting. That gas wall goes up it instantly, protecting from mid. So now he can just focus, but it's not quick enough. Sire player is quicker. We wanted to know who's going to flick faster, and it's going to be yeah. Sire player indeed. It puts value into that duel to false, and now we have a plant for the attack. Two players already inside this B site. A third to be met up, and look at how far we are for net. I have something. I have a feeling we got something cooked up with Pulse Plant potentially or a late lurk. But the Null Command comes out from Valen on top of that too. There is that Molly that lands first, and now things are looking tougher and tougher now to uh, have Sentinels play this retake. Oh, I Wall yep. coming up. Four Fight block fights. Yeah. We're still trying to deny as much as we can. Even a normal. Oh my god. <laughs> Everything's just cycled so well into the tool to falls from Sile player to get a 4k into the round. And that was really nice from the guard. I'm not gonna lie. I love this from the guard. We've we've kind of seen it come online for the last few rounds, the way the smokes are playing out, the way the wall is playing out, the viper wall so nicely placed. Because if we get a peek of it again, it goes up into the top area, right? So you're actually blocking off a lot of what people bring Omen to the table for to get that high smoke, to get the wall down and have coverage. So great Viper wall towards B. They throw it again to keep that consistency there. So Sentinels think B is a possibility. And they've just been able to cycle the rest of the utility to keep Sentinels out of the site. That was a hell of a post plant. How many mollies and after effects were they throwing out there, right? Almost impossible to get. So we really see what the guard is trying to do with this composition. There's also a composition to pass from the guard where I actually really like to see Fallon going for the poison orb on top of Raptors with mm -hmm. when they had an Omen playing in. And spawn? speaking of the Viper, it's actually net playing it all the way towards spawn. <laughs> Catches. Tens off guard, and that is going to be speaking of guard on that player advantage. Who net continues to ADS down towards mid. Shazam peeking out. 
Eight kills support. coming in. Bit of a miss Molly there. They wanted that on Jenny. They wanted that to clear out where actually Dapper would be. So a, a bit of hesitation now for the forward push. The guard could have had an effectiveness. And they will meet three members of Sentinels once they do finally get a push on here. This wall just dividing and decaying if they try to come through from the defensive side. Nice flash through. A little bit of teamwork. But they don't see anything. I think this, I think the guard's positioning here is perfect for what they want to do. The two sets of gunshots. Don't know if there's a third. And that's oh. Shazam. That's Whoa. running across. And yeah, nice little kill there from Jonah P. Gets treated out. But now you got Shroud on his lonesome. Even spotted by the trademark. Going to... Feel the full force of that slow field and picks up a vandal yeah. to try to save it for the next round. Great, great patience by the guard, too. Nicely done. Uh, a few of the things, like I said, the molly didn't go their way, but still the guard found the patience to get through. And as I said, I, I think one of the big things there was with that wall up, the guard were anticipating a push through. The longer you yeah. wait, yeah, maybe Sentinels will make a play since they have a push around the map and they're kind of trying to read it. Right when that flash goes through, they read that Sentinels would back through their wall, and Guard did such a nice job at then zero pointing to find the retreating Sentinels and take the site. So super methodical there by the Guard reading out how Sen wanted to play defense. Like you said, we do have a Vandal save here. The Guard go ahead and pick up another round. Operator for Saya player. The respect that the guard has for Sentinels. Four players versus one have yeah. money in the pockets for a bit. And they're like, yeah, screw it. We're just going to use all of our initiator utilities to clear out towards the back A side and just hold yeah. it there because you're playing against Shroud that could do the aim battle duel against you against uh, from Garage. And it's not going to it's not gonna pan out at least for Shroud to do some econ damage. And for the guard, at least you get the round as well. One round away of tying things up. Putting right now once again Sentinels into an eco position where Shroud could play this hero vandal that he saved from that previous round. He's playing it towards mid. Perfectly waited for. Have we got close game? Even without a lot of the information from these teams, everybody playing it close to the chest in the past few oh, weeks and scrims and everything, we still see the little know-it-alls and the things that teams may still be trying to do to each other to get that upper hand. A quick dart destroyed in mid and now a patient push. Possibly three members, uh, two members in a in a kind of anti-flash crossfire. You see here, Zelsis and Dapper, as they just keep check on a position. In the iPad, <laughs> moving forward. Oh, no. Overhand throw though, but it's still being held with the crossfire by Sentinels, but the weapons weren't enough. The little pistols that they had, they had the great positioning, but that little flash peek under the poison orb was just good yeah. enough for the guard. These are looking good. Maybe Shroud going for another save, or this time could actually look for the econ damage if he wants to. They, they've been loving B here. And great job by Guard to actually shut down what was kind of an anti-eco. Or not anti-eco, but an eco strat, rather. Uh, yeah. From the side of Sentinels, setting up to expect Guard in mid, to have three members there. So really well played around each other. Guard having a set play in mind and being able to execute that. Only losing net on this one, and another plant at B. Again. Sentinels fall. Every game has been so close. This is this has been an incredible series so far. We're going to three three on this one. Top left of your screen will tell you the story of the maps previously. And both teams being able to take their map pick. And we'll see what Icebox brings us now as we get into okay. round seven here. Hey. Ultimate's about to come online. We're just a few away from being on deck for the side of the guard. Shazam and Zelsis are ready. Null command ready to shut down a round here. Looks like it's actually going to play in the middle. They they run out. They may not be where they're they're set to be, but Zelsus looks like he will be a full lean uh, towards B or A this game to get that null command in place when necessary. They won't commit him just yet. Send call a timeout. How to use these alts, what they've been seeing, recap what the guard has been doing. They've noticed the favoritism towards B most likely. And a lot of the times they've been waiting out Sentinel's strategies. So that could be another one that Sentinels tells themselves, okay, if we execute and make noise, be then even more prepared that it will be a second hit from the guard thinking we've relaxed you know you've let down your guard if you will yep. so a lot of talks going on here so sen can get, get the game back in their favor this is a comp that's uh, used quite often that sentinels is currently using so thinking of where the position could be yeah LARPA well towards the a set on defense okay get ready for a ko for flashes through there or how to run the deniability from the viper throwing her snake bites the poison art towards b and the guard have been doing a really good job of just 
pulling slow defaults, big executes, mm -hmm. even staying towards spawn sites. So a lot of tricks under their sleeve where Sentinels had to figure out what's the next one in the playbook or which one are they going to recycle. There was nothing that was a, a, con a constant tell from the guard in the first few rounds that they ran through. And we just talked about this, Riff, where we got our third map. We wouldn't want it any other way between Sentinels and the guard. Oh, yeah. Mind oh, yeah. you, we actually still have another series after this. <laughs> I am so ready. Saya player with the operator. He wants to bring out the trouble. His first bloods have been amazing. Last map, six and one. Here already has one for himself. In the eight frags, he does have and wants to get some more. Tens actually goes down there to Trent, who's been having yep. a hell of a series for himself, too. That's Shroud gets delivered. It's Woo. Tens has always been in, at the right place at the right time, but still gets shut down on the aim duels in the past few rounds, at least. And you saw Shroud trying to trade it back, but they both get knocked down. As now everybody's just falling in. Already a minute left on the clock. Yeah, this is, this is a save. An incredibly uncharacteristic round. It, it, the push seemed a little disjointed there. Uh, the coverage for B long is a little harder to do because you saw Shroud was covering the left side if they came around elbow and then a garage play. So it's hard to cover the 1v1s play out as they do. And actually we see the guard doing really nice at kind of playing solo 1v1 plays, bringing out the star power and not needing each other as they did in, on Breeze, right? Those Breeze firefights were going in favor of Sentinels. It just took a bit of time for Guard to wipe off those cobwebs. Still, the Operator's going to be in play. 300 in credits here, and Guard has been able to string some rounds together, so it's going to be max buy for Sen, but they will not have time to get a good buy in this next round. Jonah P is going to end that one on Zelsis. 4-3 to three as the Guard pulls over by one. Guard back in the lead when we always had a great start for Sentinels, but this continues to go back and forth. And you saw it, I mean, even if it's hard to watch this long B side uh, yeah. from these two players, you still had great four position that's unorthodox for uh, where Tens was at because you already saw that it was actually an initiator being Trent playing towards his B main, <laughs> and he wasn't ready to use any of his prowlers into Garage anyways. So this yeah. could have been one of those great moments to catch one off guard. And, True, you, we talked about it. I mean, Trent's ready to play in the series. A double zero point towards B. It just ships in the night as they cross through the air. Push up. Oh, the play. <laughs> Celsius. Alan saw him. Down. Maybe not down enough. A. a one for one. Hot coming up. Dapper's just trying to slow things down for a bit. And that's two kills from Jonah Peach. just going to cross the rappel. They're going to hate it right now, being there on the receiving end, being Sentinels up there. And they got to find a way to stop the 410 crosses. But again, this is one of those moments where Ooh. you saved a couple of rifles, you don't have too much to work Welcome with. Vulnerabilities from the snake bite from a shroud. And you hear the Viper's pit coming out from net Elise on the pulse, but they try to guarantee the round. So yeah, a nice attempt to start things off, but the retake is gonna be close to impossible <laughs> to marshals in a classic. Oh, of 360, course, 360 marshals, if you will. <laughs> oh no, he dropped one. No, he only much less chance to get one. Great, great round by the guard here to get back in, to smother, to know they had the upper hand in guns. A quick find by Trent there. As Shazam runs through, just pressing the W key here as they look to pick up the last few kills on the round. Spike's going to be going down towards this one. The damage, though, by Shazam actually really credited there to be able to do some work on the econ. Look at that, nine grand in the hands. A Saya player feeling good. Operator still there. The guard starting to take control here. It has seemed like the Sentinels hey, the had more of the groove in. throughout a lot of this You're series gonna get overall. With as close as the game has <laughs> been, it, I, had to it, it's, uh, I feel like it's weighed towards them in the way <laughs> they've played, move. the strength they've taken around. The guard now, there. Sleeping Giant this coming online. I've, and they I've actually are watched playing Chelsea strong. Team. Operator versus Operator now, Tens is going to have that one out. It doesn't look like we're going to do a lot of them just yet as one is mid and one is B here. But we'll see how they switch things up. Ooh, the Ooh. timing on that one too. A side player just got pinged out. He's going to fall back for a bit. And uh, Again, to talk about these changes, Jonah P going into a brimstone. Ender yeah. talked about how it was really good for the retakes as well when you're playing uh, a brimstone on the defense. But what I also like is having this brimstone in the attack allows this post plan lineup that you lose from shock darts from Silva that you're not using currently from Trent. What Trent does is it allows these the ball to get information on top of the null commands, and that's a split from the guard into the B site. 
and that also oh. allows Saga player to flush some players out, get a kill oh. off the Shazam. The push from Shroud as he got pinged out from the Nightfall. But again, another one of those rounds where you're oh, yeah. getting into the site, you've got numbers advantage, and you're on a four versus two with the KO knife trying to get some information. But thankfully, there's a res, there's an all command available for the retake with Zelsus. Remy with the stimmy pushing the guard through here. They get in the site, but it's going to be Sentinel's retake. Three members closing in, all coming from the same position here. And look at this retake by the guard. They're able to come in from almost every spot they want to try and find the flank, but are they too far away now? Oh, Valen says no! Who cares when Valen gets these kills like that? Incredible, incredible by Valen. With the distance the rest of the team was there, that actually could have been real scary for the side of the guard. Valen. Absolute out of his mind play out of his mind play to get that turn as well in the flash one two control for distance as well Right yep. a distance transfer which actually doesn't what? mean you're moving it too much That's where your recoil is going to be present after three or four shots. So just uh, an incremental movement of the mouse Hot damn what a round by Valen. He Hot does damn. it again and Like you said all of guard coming online Oh, the vandal as well to boot like you said. Yeah Pretty sure we just saw that ZC's pop off and go backwards on accident. But it's still <laughs> going to be an A round here for the guard. They're just feeling it. They're vibing. Moving forward after around three up on Sentinels now. Well, Sentinels has something else to say. Early wall towards the B main to get some information <laughs> while you have... Looks like Shroud on the top of the rafters uh, by the screen sign so we can actually look up towards Bill. That's Saya player that gets picked off. And speaking of Valen on that fork in that previous round, that's two fork in head. <laughs> That's been qu in quick succession, Ooh, and speaking of him, going. gets another opener into the site, but it gets traded off by a snake bite landed by Shroud. So Shroud getting two kills for Sentinels into this round. Trent Ooh, picking up Ooh, a white bolt, Tens pushing forward with the headhunter, but cannot connect onto the kill. Things were looking pretty good on the lower part that we had for Sentinels, but we flattened things out on the momentum that was built on Sentinels' first kill. Very Here dark. comes a plan attempt, Five two shot guards coming in, and Shazam game. gets to connect onto Trent. But somehow, it's a one versus two. Low HP onto net, unfortunately, cannot capitalize onto the kill. A Shazam almost caught him off guard, picking up Elisa Phantom on a two versus one. But one made it towards the back of the site, and one is sandwiching him towards the front. Does have the Phantom for the pre-fired shot, back onto the top. Drops down to make the least the other tap, and the swing comes in from behind from the backstab. And that is gonna be the guard, able to win that round that was expensive, at least. That yeah. was made by Sentinels. Incredible stuff. You could see just how tight it got because there was definitely a call to Shazam that net was one. Net was one shot. You could see he wasn't peeking unless it was going to be the last thing that he could do on this earth. And it was going off to Saya player to take their first shot. So really nicely played out there by the guard in a situation Shazam was absolutely hunting for. Seven to three here. Possibly our biggest difference between a you half, play, between these teams in a half. Play. We could be seeing if Sentinels cannot bring this back to 7-5. Wow, that was a quick orbital strike towards the A site. But we're still able to just stay alive right now from Shroud's oh, Viper's Pit to go back in there to reset the fuel in there. But for the rest of the guard, everything stays slow. After this timeout, you can see it's just, let's try to isolate and get some information. This is off Sage Walls from Dapper on the B site. We really didn't really have too much of a Sage Viper combo on either sides of the maps, right? Usually when you're seeing a little bit of information, yeah. the Slorb's gonna help mm -hmm. to slow things down here on the attack. But guard, they have full control right now every time that they're running these defaults. It's, it's interesting to see the style of play that um, Tens is having on his chamber. Uh, we're not seeing too many forward rendezvous kind of back plays. A lot of site defensive rendezvous plays. Well, he's still getting kills in sight. It hasn't tried to be too aggressive, and he's keeping himself alive to play more with the team here. Double smoke going down so they can go through mid into spawn. Nicely done is to get themselves caterpillared right into the A site on screens. But the zero points spotted all three players. So the rotates coming out. Tense wins the fight for the lurk on B main, so that's huge. Now we're playing all the way towards the back. The underhand throw on the top of core 10, but it doesn't spot opponents in the back. Zero point coming on the other end. We're playing the pulse plan. It's going to be dangerous for the guard to try to hold this back. This is one of those unorthodox positions just because you're trying to play inside a Viper's pit. And now Sire player gets the no-scope oh. there onto Zelsis, but we're diffusing onto that spike, like I said. It's going to be very hard to do here on that retake. And Sentinels, they hold that round beautifully. Yeah, really, really nicely done. Being able to shut down 
if anything, went B10s was there for the early call. So you saw the rotation more towards mid, more towards A, getting prepared for some type of strategy in another strategy where we see guard trying to open up mid, trying to disperse the middle of the map and be right in the middle of Sentinel's composition right away. It's something they tried to do on Breeze numerous times through double doors. Seems like Sentinel's getting aware of that now. And yep. they had a really nice defensive setup. Obviously, Viper's Pit is going to give you a pretty king of the hill aspect on A. Once they realized, they walked into it. But yeah, nicely played. Trying to bring back that 7-5 and keep it as close as possible for Sentinels. Operators just on the other side of these walls. Playing a little game of cat and mouse. The Prowler is going to figure this one out first. Maybe not. It does not see. This is a great opportunity to go for... Oh, and all of this timing and dinks coming out from Shrub, but unfortunately, no kills. So now the null command comes out from Valley. Sentinel's trying to make it another 7 of 5, but Nightfall coming on the attack too, and we've cleared out towards this B site. Easy plant coming in. How's the pulse plant going to work? Everybody down towards B for now. Only site is going to be the rendezvous side player. Zero point fine, so that actually nicks his rendezvous for now. It's gonna take a little bit of time, and that's the gain. Pressure here. Oh, a missed shot. Got an off. Miss shot. Molly coming out once again. The annoying Molly from that brimstone. Now that's gonna run that clock down. We gotta try to push quickly. Dapper comes up at the wall. Sees being thrown. Nice little jiggle peek with the headshot at the Valley. Now we're sticking onto that spike. Wall. We're picking up. Dapper saving it so far. We're trying to break the wall. He gets a third kill. Looks for the fourth. We get the defuse there for the oh Sentinels with the gosh. Red Bull clutch. And we're ending it 7 to 5. Get down, Mr. Would President. He's verified. <laughs> you gotta save him while he defuses. Holy crap. Literally, the kills before the wall were great, right? Dapper using this wall tech constantly to get the defuses down. And then as it breaks, he positions to bodyguard. A perfect play there. Goes down at the same time. But it's enough. It's enough. They get the defuse. They bring it to 7-5. My God, and it's also enough here from us on the first half. Let's take a quick breather and see the conclusion of this series between the Garden Sentinels. that actually did mention that so far between at least the first two maps Trent is 17 and 0 <laughs> in duels against Shroud that's actually Woo! insane that's actually insane <laughs> wow Trent stocks going up oh yeah he I you mean we talked about it man he was feeling the series and he's looking to feel it again with some early information up towards mid with a prowler there trying to go for something aggressive zero point going out towards yellow and that's courtesy of the attack from Zelsis but Sentinels, again, another of those rounds where you're just staying close and slow at the beginning of the spawn. Take flight. Playing it patient. Hi, Ren. Good drone morning, actually Ren. commits quite a bit. You, your opponents hear drone, and they ako, will consider uh, that MVP. quite a bit of that play yeah. is going to be Pag towards ng B. River you see a bit of that rotation mid sure. towards B is yeah. held. Nice job by Shazam. So he's really trying to play with the minds of guard right now. Guard have left sights, left original positions, still in position to get these sights in their favor, but this is what Sentinels did on Breeze. Walk it up until you see contact, and that's the contact they were looking for. Wall goes up to the left side, and Sentinels will try to get this plant down. Maybe. Uh, oh my god, oh, oh, Trent! Oh. That's a high-low, almost lands them both, but that's gonna be Tenza lands both of them on the top of 410. Net now being flushed out by the snake bite and also dropped down. That's Jonah P on a three versus one. Good morning, Tepi. And thankfully, with the Sage Wall. I was going to say, maybe it's a bad Sage Wall after <laughs> all, because that's two players that made out the ropes to get the kill, but thankfully, Tens is there for the trade. <laughs> the Sage round for Sentinels, and as these yeah. kills went back and forth, this is now finally two I in like a row Phantom. on this Actually, map. Phantom there the it is. Sorry, Sentinels so. are able to string a few together. <laughs> the first Tepi, few thank of you the for series as they have gone back and forth. Guys, so lower and left. again, a, a that's very the, big that's contact your level. Round. Like I said, we saw that so on Breeze. There are rounds where there's only been one round that's for the a full map point now on both Breeze and Ascent, where Sentinels flipped Ready. the trigger and they went a hard aggressive strat. Oh, yeah, yeah, right? So we might hello. see that again. And then mo it's mostly this kind of walk up contact yeah, strategy that they've been playing. Early round absorption of the utility from guard, and then they get into the face, finding you with three people almost immediately. Here, it's a bit of a sit back, line of scrimmage from both teams where guard <laughs> is taking <laughs> position mid. 
Ang ganda na ano, kanino to, yung kaya siya sam, ay siya sam ba yun? And then, hit times pala. Bet ko yung crosser niya. Kaya rin ba, kicking in. Baka may nag-glock-glock na. Sure. Ayan, na-update ko na yung reply ng level up. Ayan, na-update ko na yung reply. Because technically, you could think that there is going to be a street mark that's going to be watching that flank. Pick up, kick in, sage wall. What else will we expect? And look, that kind of denies the chance if you can get the mollies in to hit that left side, but still instantly cleared. Also, thankfully, Alan. Oh, the brutal one. Ara ka. Ara 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 ipata. Yeah, I mean it's good. You get a kill with the molly, but the plant comes in at least four sentinels in. Welcome to Valorant, Shroud. If you're going to be the designated. Spike platter, you might get it. Ooh! <laughs> Zelsis though, headshot onto Valen, player advantage actually oh! has evened up. As we have Let's go. Nice! Top side, nice! And there you go, oh, Sentinels across word. the board. Sire by himself in the front of the B site. Swings Wala. out three players down. Wala. <laughs> and that's now 7-7. Seven to seven. Teleport's ready. Nice. Else is doing a booster in the smoke. Spike cosplay Masha, killer. Grab it, like left, early right, left, in the left, morning. right. I'm shooting through the smoke. Guys, don't forget to drink your coffee. Uh, really nicely cheers. done on the retake there, uh, making sure that guard could not encroach cheers, enough cheers, to get themselves cheers. diffused, or the spike diffused, I should say. And Sentinels go on to their bonus here. What will they be able to purchase? They do get a Vandal for Shazam. He's been watching the flank mostly. If we continue, consider what he's been doing from map to map. So you'll have that Jolly kind of spaghetti. watching the backside and being able to enter the last moment. Eh, that may yeah. have taken damage. So Shazam ito. staying alive gets big here. An A <laughs> hit looks like it will be what's going to be cleared out. There's the dart for Middle Maze. And an ins interesting Viper's wall. It's kind of yeah. deep to the right here. Would allow a lot of space being given for guard to come back to the screen. <laughs> but we do also <laughs> see <laughs> this sage wall continuously being used by Dapper in peculiar positions to cut off a lot of angles. Last one through pistol on screen. Oh, but the repel when not clear in the right, at least it gets traded out. Very Shroud satisfying. It's a pro scene. That's how. This still is an advantage right now. You know, in Sentinels to potentially get a plant in. But it's still a good But top row play, the right there's always trades. And it's so nice to see. Oh, he made the coming down, and now you just got to wait it oh, out. Should they call the next him? Cycle. <laughs> gotta love this. Good luck seeing through this. So 18 <laughs> seconds to click down. About 40 seconds, I think those will be gone based on when they were fired off. A nice zero point again to kind of reset the knowledge of the round and where it might be. Seeing Shazam was a big one. Like I said before, knowing where that Sova is with that initiator find utility is actually quite big. <laughs> they have a sonar dart. Still do the same execution now. Wall up, recon dart, zero point. And there you go. Now we've committed into the hit. Flash coming outside as well. Ooh, Molly the Molly out. again, the, the annoying Molly. And now you're forcing a little bit of a tunnel to try to get into the site to plant. There's only 14 seconds left on the clock. Zelsa no at time. least gets the kill no time. Trent. No time. Jonah no Shaw pushing oh. forward through the small. The wow. third kill oh. then on the Shazam. Oh it goes for the 4K. Holy. Absolutely Jonah P. incredible play from Jonah P. Been a little quiet. We talked about the first bloods oh, between dear. him and Saya player. And this time, he steps up huge, playing in the mind of Bravo, Sentinels. Eh? At the moment they all turn to press W and go forward is the moment he preys on the backs. Oh my god, what a big play. Absolutely needed here. And really a statement play to break what was a tie game so far. Uncrapped. That's the kind of round you want to just start Truly. to separate with. Sentinels still on a buy here. Light armor, though for some members that could make those duels go in the favor of the guard. We're going to start off a little bit of beauty <laughs> pressure, but the, the push is there from the guard. Minoa. Even a zero point. Spotted a couple of players too, so it's going to be down to the basics. Oh no, Renig the shot if I ever replace the rifles as the wall's oh, about no. to come down. And as it comes down, Shazam actually spots Saya player, and the second kill cannot be traded. Jonah P falls as well, and it's finally going to be one of those rounds where the guard gave that to Sentinels. Get into a side on an early five versus three, it's Sentinels' That's turn to do that. Plant the spike. Oh no! Oh, the... What? Just on the edge of that damage. Oh my god. Unlucky. Crowd getting tagged just a little bit. Spike has been planted and they have to find it instant eyes. That makes it maybe harder to get the diffuser once they're pinched in there. Well, 
especially after that null command from Zelsis. Now we're tapping onto it. We're trying to stay between oh, no. the walls, and it's now time yeah. for Damn. the guard to do oh, that. And oh, oh God, nice. get it! Shazam sees that one at least. It's a three know. versus one. Yeah, Net no, no, no. has the Viper's oh, pit, sorry, but uh, is not going to go for it. Falling back to save his weapon. Dapat may ano dito. Dapat may point zero. Yung second then in this series, lang, it's happening. Na lang sana Almost para the defuse there. I was so scared that that was going to happen, and it looked like such a clever play <laughs> from the guard Trent, just squeaking pa, in enough to get the defuse. But Sentinels wanted to just a bit more as they smother that spike with gunfire. Eight to eight here. Even with a statement uh, round, Sentinels guys, are able to way, pull it back so into ready, a tie game. Full the, utility both sides. I'm you know, trying to see if that's what the priority is because the buys won't be the same. Work, you know. It does look like they are going to have that utility that, you know. they require to push themselves forward. Trademark purchase mm -hmm. kind of sold mm -hmm. being decided here on the side of uh, the guard. It looks like they'll hold on to it to now for saving every single penny. This could be an alt orb to tour de force if they get B control. Well, now we got the pac man ult oh from dear. net into this A site, and look at this lurk. So I'm gonna try to do a little bit of what tense did, and it works ult. out. But we already have players on the other end of that wall trying to go for the trades. We don't have Shroud up with the wall anymore, so things are gonna get a little bit more difficult. Nice underhand flash, but it still gets punished here by Shazam, who wasn't affected by the flash on the left side of green. Aldron to look out, and thankfully with Shroud being down, we still have a Sage that's alive. Now Trent is stuck on the top, and mm. there's the flank. One now flank. Nice jiggle peek. Mm -hmm. It's spotted out. Shazam standing. goes for the white swing, and now it's just Trent. Grab it, get it, get it, score. Okay. okay. Last little dink if he had a better weapon, but Dapper what? does the same. What is it with Dapper and these sidestep through the wall shots? <laughs> <laughs> he, he did it on the Jenny on Ascent. We saw Lala. someone on Breeze. Oh my <laughs> word. His ability to get that kind of Sorry. dead space Sorry. 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 in the starting of his I mean, strength no, no, to shooting is incredible. Like, oh, deep to my word. Words. Uh, multiple times. It's really hard to defend against that or play against that. And that's why we see 17 and 12 Sage. I said it in the previous maps. Sentinels have always played unconventional. It, <laughs> yeah, like this bad is going in. It, it was sick, right? It was dapper as the duelist going in. <laughs> they still do it. I just they realized that Salbahe means make this savage. Comp flow to use utility so from for each now on, other I'm going to use Salbahe instead of game. savage. 9 to 8 here as they take the lead from the guard. Still super Ako, close I on our final map. Bahe. Aldron does not savage. spot anyone, but at least a zero point did. And that's three players stacked up in the back of the side of the guard, and we're quickly rotating mm. back towards mid. And that is Jiggle Peak by Trent. A wall and looking for not even a split. It's going to be a four player commit towards Orange. A orbital strike coming down from Jonah P. Brimmy with the stimmy, taking the position on Brimmy the other end here, stimmy. using the sound of the orbital strike to mask his position now on the top of just nice. behind the boxes. But Tens clears it out, takes him down, and it's now a four versus two as Trent and Net answers back towards Kitchen. No, now Sire Player with the duel of false looks down. He hears that spike going down oh! as he leads back out. Sire Player gets the kill onto Dapper. Now it's up to Shazam. He does have the Hunter's Fury that he's up against four players. No, and that's a zero players. point. They actually didn't hit it. Swing it back out, getting the first nice kill, but the swing try. comes right out from Trent. Easy trade. Wait, and now we're I'll tied up once again, 9 to 9. Pee. The choices right now by the guard. I mean, we saw how post plant the guard was able to play, right? Mollies after Mollies, taking things back, being able to push the opposing team off. And then we see Jonah P here microwaving an open space. As soon as they go under tube, he hits Sentinels. Right, the quick decisions right now from the guard are impressive in the way that they're playing this game. It's going to be required because Sentinels now at this point are pulling out a lot of things we haven't seen. A little bit more mid play. It's not just the yeah. A to B, the A to B. They're trying to spread the map. They are playing fast. They flipped the switch and they've had a few more fast rounds where again we only saw one between their previous maps. So here. They are testing the guard. The guard's adapting and vice versa. Like, this series has been absolutely incredible to see both teams come back in with their changes, coach changes, roster changes, and be able to present this. And I can't wait to see how much more they do together in this tournament uh, for themselves. Ultimates are ready coming in here. Sentinels are calling a timeout at 9 This is like...
I only watched an, this because I know. An amazing job actually to even contain Tense, Zelsus, and Shroud. Look at him on the board right now. Right. Three players that we talked about heavy hitters, four Sentinels in this roster, but. They catch Shroud off position. They're able to win duels against Shroud. Tens gets fourth position, has timing, cannot win the duels. It's just these guys are on point right now from the guard. It's just being quick on the flicks. And like I said, Trent is really ready to play. And they're really getting hyped up after after all these 4Ks that Jonah P gets, Trent gets, Valen gets. Sire player even got a 4K with a 13 play. HP tool to false in this very <laughs> map. So these guys are just vibing across the whole series in this third map, and it starts here. Upshot missed. 50 HP. Sai, you know he'll take another shot. He'll be up for another one. This could be another one of those contact rounds so far. Drone will go out first. Uh, a lot of times, anybody can reposition after a drone. Oh! Quickly moving up with that. Of course he takes the shot. Dapper goes Ooh. down the wall that's given. Uh, Sentinel so much control inside the site is gone. To see if they can organize and get themselves in here. Tour de Force and Vandals to make it happen. Look at that. We actually have a lot of ultimates just to get positioning here to at least try to get a flat down. But we have a Nightfall ready as well. Or Trent for the retake. And it comes out right away as soon as they hear the tap. And here comes the Haunt inside as well. Brawlers to come out to help out to flush out the Viper's Pit. And now Shroud has to look left and right. And it's Jonah B to drop the Viper's Pit. Drop the Spike Carrier as well. And it's tens on a three versus one. Sneaking through the tunnels of smokes. Left and right, getting oh, ready for okay. the double swing. Tens with oh, the first no. kill, but Net comes no. back from the generator for the trade. And that's the guard back in the lead, 10 to 9. Jonah P is stepping up so big Pinko right Luto. now. The rest Very of the team obviously games. flowing with him, but the frags he has been able to change, the, pit, the impact frags he's had to change the round. Drawing the last shot as well from tens going down is the assist to your teammate, right? Never forget who passed the ball for the assist. And a lot of those are going to the Brimmy Stimmy right now. As you see, eight on the board for Jonah P. 10 to nine, they continue to change leads, Van Silly. Literally our last map. And they cannot <laughs> hold it for more than one round. Can Sentinels again come back? It's a low buy this time. It's starting to be that taxing. And Shazam down to one HP to start. What? That's insane. One HP. There's a heal. Well, okay, there's a heal. Yeah, He's getting the sponge bath. We're good. <laughs> and thankfully, Dapper also has a res. I think she's if streaming. anything does True. go foul at the beginning just of this go, round, go yeah, just go and like get taken out. <laughs> oh my word! All right, let's see how they play this, Vance. Sonar Bolt is out. It's a two-two-one. Is it, with a kind of a lean towards three for the yeah. guard. So they do have a bit of positioning here to retaliate. But I wonder what this duo team on Sentinel is doing over at A and what they can provide. That's is that what it's called? Sonar Bolt? Players still keep a fourth position towards yellow. Now with the zero point, there's no TP. He TPs just before, actually. The zero point pings out, so now Sire Player gives up his position, and that Sentinel's leaning back towards the A site. Remember, Sonar Bolt was fired, fired quite a while ago, so this timing Sonar puts Bolt Shazam back in A, just about when that's coming back up. <laughs> and they'll be able to fire in. Oh, they show KO Util and Shazam's Jumping Util. Slower. There's the dart, there's the entry. Left. Wall up two, Shroud's gonna plan it. Oh no! Oh yeah, and Shroud is coming out of the And Shroud makes it out unscathed, but now at least the guard is not unscathed. Not a man, Shah. A pulse plant position for Sentinel so they can just right. retake from the back of the site. Can Jonah P make it around in time? He's still trying to decide what the flank is. Oh, Shazam does go down. They know that's the flank watch, but will they know there's one more lurking? Jonah P's getting dipped right now. On this retake, Sire player drops another one. Dapper, who's been a hero for the team so far, is just trying to hold back for Sport 10. Molly towards the front. No, 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 and like no. I said, it's not time for them. So oh. the wall comes up. The Molly to block out the oh, area no. too, allowing for this diffuse to go down so easily. For the guard. So open, We're now at 11. Noise. Two more rounds for the guard to move forward to knock down Sentinels to lowers. They finally separate the rounds just a little bit from going back and forth, punch and punch. And Jonah P again. It looked like a frag on Shazam, but it's a pivotal frag. It's one that Shroud had to worry about whether that flank was still coming in and could not assist the team, right? So, guard, take the control, take control of the map, take control of mid, but give it up. The Sentinels didn't know that. The full force of the guard coming through, like you said, spawn side and retake the round. A low buy again. Guardian's coming out. And Sentinels trying to guardian this right now. Their first game back with this roster. They look to come out strong. There is so much power on this team. But mm -hmm. the guard may have the final read here in the last few rounds, Vansili. It's getting close to game point.
Getting a lot of reads here from the zero points coming out from Valen, from the Prowlers coming out from Trentu, and just heroic rifling from every single one of these players across the board. Best it's of on two. this very map. It's insane how they look so far for the guard, Best but of three. you're not out of it yet right now for Sentinels. They still have that firepower for this roster. Stays pala. really, really yeah, slow after they got pinged out here, Riv, by the zero point. You're still just going to try to hold as much as you can. <laughs> the Owl Jones to try to clear out just a bit. Maybe try to sell a double fake, a double pump <laughs> back into B. Walang balut, boss. That seems to be the case. Such a neat wall, too. We've seen this from Nat. Allows him to play mid, right? If he wants to put that wall up, he has. He can go through mid. He can go to tube. He won't be seen from attacker spawn. The case is, though, it is going yeah. to be a death ball to beat for Sentinels here. I no command so. comes out. W keys press. Sentinels looking to close this round gap. You want this because this allows the wall to come up and Trent. get the plant yeah. without having a fragment be landed on the ground. But yeah, Trent gets the kill onto Shroud. Another one of those duels that's won here by Trent, who gets a second kill, but at least we get a plant down for Sentinels. The push forward coming out from Tents, yeah, spotting two players at Orange before he TP's back. A five versus three, Poison, Viper's Pit available for Net on a retake if they want to, but he's still watching that flank while the rest are pushing forward. Orbital Strike coming down here on the defense. It takes down Zelsis. It doesn't work Trent. out for the post plant. Tents is on his lonesome. Four players swinging out. We get the defuse oh. with the guard. And they are at map and series point. And they're focusing Trent. They're still thinking ahead. This game is not one as close as it is. Nightfall is going to be on deck. Viper's Pit is there if they want a Pac-Man A to start things off. Incredible answers right now from the guard and what Sentinels is trying to actually activate it. B, they have the Sage Wall. It's instantly getting broken. It doesn't seem to be providing much more than the few rounds of advantage it did. And now the guard has adapted. So they're continuously routing these strategies and combinations of utility that Sentinels want to use. And they just seem to be coming up short on the side of Sentinels now because the guard is answering so well on defense and retakes. A stack towards A mid here for the guard. They leave mm -hmm. just Jonah P's okay. Jonah P's at B with five players looking to fight against them. We're not actually going for any shots to retaliate back. We're just trying to play the contact first as we clear it out towards green. I swear, yung, ano talaga, yung Molly lineups. Ultimate's there for Dapper. They can play a little bit aggressive to get one to go down, but it has Forcing to be a safe to, res. Uh, no, the wall, same wall. Is it a different plant, though? They push forward. First time they've gone this far through their own wall. And Celsus gets the wall bang out the Jordan P, but it's still Trent that's alive. Another player that's been prominent for the team. Tens finally gets another kill. Four Sentinels onto Valen. Spike is down. Okay, good, like, good, Trent good position. And the rest of the guard. I mean, Saya player is way too far back in eight still. And yeah. as you mentioned it here, Riv, one of those moments where you're just pushing very quickly. Well, now maybe a save, but with the econ that they have, somehow they land that shot. But it's traded out here by tens. Oof. Trent, Trent? Trent? back on the top of Kitchen. Somehow no a two way. versus no one. Way. No way. No. Shazam only with the Guardian. Picks up here the no. second weapon of the Bulldog on the ground. We have it oh. way. He gets the headshot. It's a one versus one. Recon dart out. We're oh. still clicking on that clock. And now we go for the EDS. We're trying to go for the tap. The headshot coming in. And should I say the body kills for Shazam? The Red Bull clutch. And we stay alive for Sentinels. You can't ask for any more than your IGL top fragging, clutching, keeping you in the game. Shazam using it all because he has it. What a great play Wait, here. Showing a little bit of a touch towards the left side, which drew his opponent. Was able to get the 1v1 in the planter and find the same for the next one. An incredibly necessary play. It couldn't have happened any other way for Shazam there. And he keeps oh, Sentinels in this series. Oh, Let's we'll see what they have here now coming in around 23. Our first map went to overtime, and Sentinels oh. want this. They are so hungry. A Saya player looking for some shots. Operators oh. for oh, both no, sides. Ten goes down. Saya player first blood. A mistake here on the first over, but Rez oh, yeah. comes out Perfect. right away from the wall. Perfect. So Perfect. that's right wall here. down. That's Rez down early in this round, but at least the Dota Falls is still up and running for Tens. Shabu clutch. <laughs> How do they push? It, it seems like Sentinels don't really want to do too much until they receive information from the guard again. A little bit. Who's here? What are we facing? Any bit to favor or put the odds in their favor. And we see the rotation now coming over from Dapper. He doesn't find too much of a flank. 
Remember, we got the res back in this one. That was the ultimate we saw focused from Dapper for the last few rounds. B is a hit again, and Sentinel's nice. gonna try it. Nice. Oh, man. The oh. Salvation coming back from the dead and gets the kill. Opener onto Saya player. Tens gets an Feathered. important kill, allowing Sentinels to get the plat down. Trent moving forward, slow orb flash, stuck inside the slow orbs we'll as well. Slow. And things are looking good, at least for Sentinels. On the post plan, Tens, oh, okay. he's activated. 11, 12, 11, 12, okay. And Trent is making it things a little bit more difficult for the guard to try to go for the retake, so they're saving here. It all will boil down to the last round of regulation. Man, silly. Oh my god, Riv. They're saving. I cannot this believe 11, this is 12, what we're 11, getting 12. out of this game. Like, Hey, Again, Lord, Jesus the, the simulation, I'm so glad it hasn't blue screen I mean, yet or anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm don't try this versus <laughs> is surreal. Oh my gosh. Sentinels is going to bring it in with a full five, too. A flawless round to bring it within one to tie Icebox versus the <laughs> guard. Script, Again, both script. teams bringing not new comps for the Marketing guard, but new, right. very new. And Sentinels for Zelsis and Shroud and the rest of the team <laughs> with the, the organization behind them and coaching and the oh guard Lord adding God, Cupid after Father, Masters too. There's so me. many changes both teams have gone through. Holy crap, is this this is the game that we get out of it. Absolutely amazing play coming out of both. I, like I think oh, because I mean, look at that. I mean, one of those more plays, Jonah P's done it before on that Something's wrong with PLDT. The, the only reason na nakakapag-stream ako ng Twitch ngayon is because of exit plug. In exit plug ko yung Google Chrome namin para mag-load. To get that kill was important they got it. And now, the total false comes out for the defense. Sire player has it ready, also has a phantom. A zero point actually spotted a few as well. As they fall back now for the guard, time to play more passively. And we're just looking to execute towards this A site. So the false misses, but we also have the null command for Valance, so that's no utility to come out, at least for now. The nightfall, the flashes, everything is coming out right now for the guard. So early into this round, we have a great opportunity to reset now for Sentinels. The 4 1 still being played on defense by the guard. They were hoping that came into play, and Sentinels will be able to choose the right one. This mid wall, once again, instantly cleared. Tyler's not going to make it through. Yeah, that wall is actually huge. The fact that it's solidified really starts to throw guard off and how they can rotate. Only one is coming road. through. Cool. Bees to play again, but the Molly's ah! the plants. The push. Oh, Jonah P goes down. Celsius with the headshot to Jonah P, but then runs back oh! into the Molly because that stays on for so long. It's a four versus four. Offshot missed. missed by tens. We're still moving forward inside the site now for Sentinels. And we're staying back at least, trying to run that clock down for the guard. Dapper doesn't have that wall anymore because he used it towards mid. We have to wait for the left. toxic screen to come back. Up, yeah, but this is an opportunity there. for the guard to push forward. We have the spray ah! the as well. Oh, the oh. body, the gun stick, south ah! the falls. Another shot from Saya player. Only two more to go. Tens and Shazam. No Hunter's Fury as Shazam needs to get the kill to activate it on a four versus two. A zero point comes out, and Tens is posted with this off. Looking back towards Snowman, ah! waiting for Saya player. They both get ah! the kill. It's a two versus two. Ah! Now we're pushing That's forward on a one versus one. It's Trent. It's Tens. Trent ah! is the swing. He gets the kill. We're going into overtime. Incredible play. Down to the last round. We can't ask for anything more. And it's to be tens as well. The operator play coming through on the young Trent. Taking him down. A clutch master of this series throughout. Holy crap. These rounds, man. Silly. We're going to overtime. The team could not be pushing each other any harder to the max here. And it is the operator play. It is still it's tens to come up with the plays to make sure we get there. The chamber, the jet, it doesn't the matter. Operator feels like go. home for this guy. Wait, We're in OT round 25. Let's do it. Tens heard me, man. We talked about it. At some point in that second half, Zelsis at yeah, the bottom, Shroud at the bottom, tens at the bottom, and he's like, nope. I'm not ready to go down yet, man. <laughs> this is the last chance qualifier, so it's your last chances to get things done. And Sentinels yeah, did a great job to bring this into it. overtime. Now working. you it's just mentioned it, Riv, for resetting things. The wall comes up on the B site, and Dapper gets a little bit of info from the Prowler being played by Trent from Garage. You, you really can't, oh, I can't believe what Tens and Shazam have done for Sentinels <laughs> in the past few rounds. And you have to think the guard is a bit shook Intense. coming into this oh, first yeah. overtime round with what just happened. How close they came each time. And then you just have to take another <laughs> breath and do it all He's... over again. Sentinels, though, hungry. Huge push up here. On to B. Not too much forward pushing by Sentinels. They're still getting the only read. What they see is what they get right now. Yep. No real information gained on the map by anybody. Zero point goes out. 
I'm sorry, I don't usually shout Boys in my streams, but that was the time. I'm sorry, I'm sorry for disturbing you. I'm sorry. I don't usually shout that like a stream. So a great way to delay, and now you know the execution is coming that out. Wasn't from me. The guard on the attack, and it's valid and net. Elise opening up the first two. Mm. Shock dart misses mm. because of the smoke. Mm. Those damn brimby smokes. Mm. He lands both of <laughs> them on the ground, and now we get the plant coming in from Jonah P. And Shazam swings out for the kill. Shock darts can do it. I'll do it with my gun, man. <laughs> Just enough to get the frag there. Set up for a 3v3 to end us up on this round of our first overtime. A slow rotation here. You can see the intention coming in from the side of Sentinels. They're letting Tens go as slow as possible before he meets with the team. And they get these shots in. Oh, careful. Nobody oh, wanting to peek. Nobody wanting to be the first one to go down. The shot misses! Oh my god, still there though. Let's Valen's go, Shroud. There. There, but Shroud Let's stops go. in close range, so we're pushing Oofa. forward with a nice haunt. But it's Shroud with the third kill into the round. And a fourth kill into the round. The defuse comes in for Sentinels, and they retake the lead in the series. Oh my god. He may have flew under the radar. He may have been a bit quiet throughout this game on Icebox. But Shroud with the 4K Switching once side. again, popping off exactly when they need it. Match point now for Sentinels as this game has gone back and forth in favor of Guard, in favor of Sentinels. Once again, game point for Sentinels. This is absolutely incredible, Van Silly. Uh, we have been blessed with oh, yeah. a Valorant match here between Sen and Guard. Absolutely. Um, you Definitely gonna be blasting some drink music you after this that? series <laughs> with the hashtag bless for sure, man. This is a great way oh to kick things gosh. off for the LCQ. And let me remind you once again, Chad, that so we have another scream. series coming up after this, and that's FaZe versus EG. It. But Clutch before BJ, that, let's see the conclusion look. of this one. It's continuing to be intense as you <laughs> talked about the guard Truly potentially more. being shook here. No forward pushes. Look at how the three players are working towards mid. Jump spot, super passive towards back A, looking to play the retake. The only one that's really Aggressive is Sia player in the front of green. Sentinels towards Sentinel. mid. A contact Inside. mid play. Not a piece of utility used. Ah! Absolutely. Like, I find Jonah sure. P utility out in overtime. No way, but we still have oh, Trade no. in the back of the site. It's traded out by Tens oh, once no. again. Spike picked the up, world. traded out by Valen. Spike is down once again with the fragment on the ground. Oh, Alert no, towards mid doesn't work out. It's a player advantage back into the guard as Net is pushing forward. Zelsa started here at the time. That's Gcash. Now it's Shroud on the three versus one. As oh, he leads hello. out, Net brings it into another overtime. <laughs> we go from the round before to this. To absolutely just pushed it mid and then taken out. What? It blew my mind. If I was Sentinels, I'd be like, why the hell are there two spawn looking through the Omen TV spot? Through Omen Playground. Why are there two there? I, oh my gosh, the guard just cursor, mixing it up. No? I even thought level. that was going to be one of those moments where Jonah P has been playing lights out this map and then gets caught off guard by that one by Dapper and that was going to be the nail in the coffin. But thankfully, the guard were able to trade back and fight back to show Wait, this double gosh. overtime. We're resetting things. That momentum That's that like was built by Sentinels off that retake is now gone from how that round panned out here Who for gifted? the guard. 2-1-2 two, two across the map. Super default defense by Sentinels here to make sure they have utility on each side that they can use to delay or get that 1v1 duel. The same thing, really, set up by the guard. They have taken this one patiently. I think we may be moving into man. the not want to lose phase of the game. The game. We may get, man. get a little bit hesitant on the plays. I would be very surprised to see a super fast play coming out here, but that's what we love. We love to be surprised. And just, it's going to be a waiting game right now, Van Silly. We're down to one minute. I yeah. think everybody has cemented in place right now. <laughs> Dangerous position at the beginning of this round for Shroud, though, because if yeah. he actually does get flushed out by a Prowler, by a Haunt, by a Recon, or anything, or gotta say a zero point, he can't. He's not the one that's gonna be able to TP away. So you're gonna have to run that snake bite onto the ground to run the delay because you want to use tens to look down towards under two from his positioning on the top of B. So that's on lock at least for now. And the guard are looking to work towards A site at the beginning. Thirty seconds left. left. Yeah. In love. Through. Wall's already there. Remember that choke point really did him in last time, so they're gonna make sure they clear out most of it. Oh no, but I no flash play to come through. Oh. Sentinels isn't ready for it. The wall goes Damn. down a bit of a mistiming. Oh. Two openers, beautiful flash from Fallon what? as well. Ten That's it. Left. It's a five versus two. Yeah, but it's shrouded it so quick. Shrouded ten. 
only tens. Ah! Headshot. Oh! Second one connects Ends? onto net. Looking back towards the 410. 70 HP left. 10 bullets in the chamber. Speaking Looks of chambers, like... he also has headhunter. <laughs> Molly set up by Jonah P. Just on the right there by Electric Box. On your right. Good and happy to fire that out and set up for another one. Is he going mid or round? He is. Look at the rotation by Jonah P right now. Oh, yeah. He's laced up and sprinting mid after firing the Molly. The ability to continue to delay. Uh, you have to be kidding me. No they they have like here. a guarantee Ooh. on this round. Yeah, a two-year guarantee right there. <laughs> 14 to 13. The guard pulling into the favor now in OT. Oh, my gosh. Game point. Let's go. Jonah P paying back from the mistake from that previous round where they almost lost that after it got picked off by Dapper. Shit, and ulan sa and now he buys back with My insurance. Stream might it's be a cut warranty off. as you mentioned before. They ulan. had the orbital <laughs> trying to play the pulse plant and now we finally have an opportunity <laughs> for the to come back <laughs> and for Sentinels to figure out how they can bring this into <laughs> a third overtime. We talked about Wait that lang, confidence rift. I need to, I need that, to pee. That was flattened I need after to the guard was able to bring it back to a shot 13. And then you see these type of plays that came out from Net and Valen to open up the A site. You need this timeout right now for Sentinels Oof. to not only calm things down, but also figure out how you could close it out at least into this round if you want to survive into yeah. the upper brackets. I think one of the things that makes it so chaotic, and I hope I have a second to talk about this, is you have this utility coming in from the guard, and you can basically get all the the denied space that you want, right? You're getting information by throwing a haunt somewhere. Nobody's there. Zero point covers a gigantic area. You know no one's there. And if it's one person at yellow, you know the rest are long B. And you can do the same thing at A. The guard is doing so good at identifying that negative space that they're not getting info from is where their opponents are. And they're using it so well. I've since do the same thing with a bit of their comp with the KO and the, the, the Sova, so credit By the way, team, if but they're not using it so well to dissect point not and take I... out. Go Sentinels. do so already. Saya, Jonah, 25, 24 frags. Right, Everybody's getting deep into this one. Chief. Prowler also, made to start things off, and it looks like Tens is actually going to be on a solo mission this time. I'll be playing comp games after this. Some pipes control, and the yeah. alarm bot trademark now broken. Oh, okay. Out. okay. Two games this will work out for the later rounds, or the later half. Okay, yeah, exclamation point. Not if I miss my Saya player still has that TP available. Looking to swing back out, and this Al Jones will probably confirm oh. that it's time to go for the TP back. You know they always hold for possible shots there. The wall goes down quickly. Mm. Dapper trying to set up defense actually against his own wall. Nice one. Forward positioning is a must right now. They have to be confident enough to use it. There's still a bit of hesitation on getting into the site from uh, the guard. They want to know that Sen is just as committed, and here's the plant going down. Ah, natamaan yung ulo ni Siege. Dink indeed. Hulo, 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 hulo. Oh, I forget as he swings out. Timey, what a bait by Trent. Oh, no. How crazy are you going to do that in overtime? Two kills then come back from the guard. It's a player advantage now for the defenders for the retake. But like I said, it's still punted for long. We have good positioning right now from Sentinels. No more fragments, no more post plant positioning. And because of that, players are falling down. And now that. GG. It's Celsius with the kill due to smoke. Looking for the spray. It's back at halfway. GG. Out with the classic. That gets the kill. Woo! And that's going to be the guard that finally seals it. Ay, at at na na GG. Oh God, it's time for you to take it. Cause oh I my God. Breather. Congrats, the guard. That's what our... an amazing series coming that's out our... of both teams. It couldn't be said okay, anymore. Yeah. The guard pushing Sentinels to the max there. I'd say Intense. at the end, though, look at the rounds it took Shazam and Tens to capitalize into an overtime round. You really can't take away anything from either team on this. They played a hell of a series on both sides, but guard adapting, figuring out a little bit more. I think having Saj, a bit more but versatility. I'm still happy. I mean, okay, lang din sa akin, the guard out how Sentinels was going to then rotate. But Sentinels, really oh my god, that, that first play, OT. That style. Yeah. Also, oh, when you yeah. got crap happening like Jonah P <laughs> and everyone else popping off, so many good oh, rounds kuna. coming from the young squad of the guard. A deserved oh, win oh, for Sentinels there. And I am so excited Jan to Alex see the power sharing of those By the way, guys, if you yeah. haven't done so already... Also happy of the potential that you have from Sentinels oh, after these roster games that, like, that they're yeah. not going to be at that bottom of the pack right now. Both of these could also excellent point not if I... I stream Valorant Mondays and Fridays. The mic and the Tyson the one two punches. The Hail Marys came <laughs> out okay, yeah. for Icebox, but unfortunately, it wasn't enough. Wait, long. I love to be.
If you've been waiting for falling in love, no, kana, my heart. Wait, check on the ping. DM. What? Ay, nagpal error pa nga. So, so close. Cause we never. 